hello guys welcome back to my channel once again welcome to fish academy i'm sorry i i tried to upload a video uh some minutes ago but um uh, i think uh, the there was a power outage and i have to stop the session immediately and then uh, use my standby generator and uh, you might be hearing some noise please in case the noise is disturbing sorry about that the gen i use is not far from here so sorry for the break in transmission however the matter i wanted to discuss it doesn't really matter to me but uh, this time around let's discuss fish farming let's forget about my own personal uh, let's forget about my own personal uh, life i'm gonna fix i'm gonna fix that up I'm gonna fix that up, okay? As I said, my car is bad, and uh, certainly before the end of this year, I should add to the number of uh, to the number of cars I have in order to serve you guys better. However, this is a a, a a session in which you are free to call. As you can, my number is on the screen. Plus two three four eight zero three five three nine seven, which is on the screen. Uh, just as we've been doing i don't know if actually you've gotten if you are getting me clearly in terms of uh, the audio and the video quality i don't know if you can hear me clearly actually we are broadcasting uh, from port harcourt nigeria uh in case you are joining us for the first time this channel is all about uh, fish farming alternative way of um, alternative and modern way of setting up and growing your fish which we have been practicalizing and uh, today I was speaking with someone and I I, I told the person uh, so sorry that um, we've not been bringing more practical videos as we have been doing when we started and if you have been following us on this channel you will also observe that and uh, we are going to I, I, I intend to give myself a one month break so that uh, we can I can bring back those practicals that we have been doing that we have been uh, showing on, uh, on this channel so please if you are watching me I noticed there are some people watching me already please let me know if the video and the audio quality is okay so that I can proceed in case I need to do any adjustment is there anything quality okay is the audio quality okay please let's get your feedback using the comment box or you can call the number that is on the screen plus two three four eight zero six nine zero three five three nine seven actually um i'm in a good space and good to talk to you guys because Throughout the, uh, the the year 2019, I've I've not I've I've been a public servant, which I still I am today. Oh my God, oh my God, David, audio is like you are outside. I, I think let me do it like this. Let me get it a little bit closer to me. I don't know. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God go the video okay sorry 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 um actually there's a generator outside i i wanted to do this when uh, the uh, when uh, when uh, when we had the uh, power uh, from the national grid but um they took the light immediately after i started the first video so i have to put on my gen set okay 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 the audio is okay the video is okay okay i believe you get me but um okay you are writing from switzerland um you are free to call uh we've we've been doing this for some time now and i think we are going to be doing this every week hopefully on a sunday like this if you want to hear yourself okay thank you very much Udo, Udo Ze, david please sorry if i didn't pronounce your name well uh, you can put a call through. I, I, I really like, I would love to hear your voice. 
Okay, Sylvester Emilike. So many people have been calling, sending text messages, sending emails, and um, the other day I I I I I I, I, I reply some email messages. I'm sorry, I can't. I will not say that I reply all of it, but I went through a lot of the emails. I replied a lot of email messages. In case I didn't reply yours, please forgive us. We are still setting up to ensure we serve you better. In terms of WhatsApp messages, we've also been doing our best to to reply messages on WhatsApp both Nigerian messages and the one that are not even Niger Nigerian messages. We've been discussing even projects outside the country, which I believe by the special grace of God, everything works out. We should be setting up a farm in, in Zambia. We are working on that already. Okay, okay, Mohammed Kazim. The theme for today is, what are the challenges you are facing? What are the challenges? What are the difficulties you are facing as a fish farmer you can put a call through and uh, let's see if i believe not as i said it is not just all about me i would like every other people to contribute maybe when someone put a call through ask his or her question i would like us to share knowledges i would like us to share whatever we know about the question i will also do my best to reply okay if i if I knew why, okay. All right, thank you very much. Uh, please, sorry for my, I don't know. I, I just have to leave this, but I think I will remove it. I don't know if you guys like it, man. I I think um, shaving every time makes makes it somehow difficult, especially not having time. At times, some, I, but we are growing anyway. Uh, so the theme, what are the challenges? I don't know, uh, no phone call yet. If you call, you are going to hear yourself as usual. And the, the people viewing this channel are also going to hear you speak. Okay, good evening, brother. I'm watching from Spain. Sunny Adams. Thank you very much. How is Spain today? Um, also, let me use this. Uh, I think uh, from the news I heard today, I'm, I'm told that, uh, is it Texas? I was hit somehow with uh, is it with, uh, with what? what one of the natural disasters we are watching from Texas I, I stay safe in Texas okay um, please how do I get fish meal okay I uh, sorry I might not actually get your message immediately yeah but if you can put your phone call, if you can put a phone call to it because this the, the messages are just rolling on the screen so maybe before reading it, after, before I finish reading, the, the message has disappeared. But uh, I think I'll do my best. Let me get it. Let me see if I can get it here. I'm waiting for the first phone call. He's going to be the first to call me today. He's going to be the first to call me today. I'm wa okay, watching from London. But I have a fish farm in Worry, Delta State. Mr. Edward. Okay, so how is your fish farm in Wari Delta State, Mr. Edward? Hope, hope everything is going on fine. And your managers are taking good care of your farm. You can put a call through. Okay. Um, oh, wow. See, nobody want to call today. Or is I... Okay, we have our first call, and this is a WhatsApp call. I pray it be clear. All right. Okay, we'll pick this one first. Uh, there's another call that I've ended the WhatsApp call. This is a direct call. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Good evening. Yeah. Please, you do well to reduce the volume of your phone or your system so that we can hear you better. So that it won't echo. Is echoing? Please, just do well to reduce the volume on your phone, your system, or okay. television. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Before we do, okay. All right. 
So let's hear you. How do I get direct contact? How do I get direct contact with you um, on um, what it would take to build a, a, a fish farm? I actually have a four plus, but I'm trying to put it on a two on two plus or one. What would it cost? And how would I know the potentials from? You say you have a, a four plot of land and you intend to set up a fish farm at where? Yeah, I intend to set it on at least one and a half or two because uh, the other part I will use for um, another type of um, farming. Okay. So where, where do you intend to set that up, sir? I intend to set it up in a way. Okay, in a way. Okay, uh, this is my this is my direct contact, and um, maybe you can contact me immediately after the after this uh, live session. Then we'll discuss that better. Okay, if you give me your WhatsApp number, that works too, because um, yeah, you can reach. Me. Yeah, this, this is my WhatsApp number. I mean, your WhatsApp with this number, right? Yeah, yeah, this is my WhatsApp number too. Your name, okay, I'll try to get your WhatsApp. Your, your name, please. So, you, did, you didn't mention your name. So, you, did, yeah. you didn't mention your name and where you are calling from. I didn't mention what. Your name and where you are calling from. Okay, my name is Kachi Echen. As we speak, I'm calling from Memphis, Tennessee. I actually live in Atlanta, but I work takes me around. All right, all right. Nice, nice speaking with you. Sorry? It's a nice hearing from you. All right, my boy. All right. We'll speak after now, after this session. Sorry? So we'll speak after this live session, after the broadcast. We'll speak. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll get you. Yeah, okay. What's that will be nice. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, my brother. All right, bye. You do? Okay. So that was a call from Atlanta. Um, he wants to set up a fish farm in uh, in Oweri, Nigeria. As I said, we are not just working uh, here in Nigeria. We Please. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Your name and where you are calling from? Uh, my name is Patrick, and uh, I'm calling from Birmingham, UK. You are calling from where? Birmingham, in UK. Okay, okay. <laughs> calling from UK. All right. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, good. Yeah, I have earlier on the chat that um, how do you get your fish meal? For the food making. Okay. I'm okay. having that's an issue with it. You say how do we get how do we get fish meal? Hello, is that is that what you said? Hello. Sorry, I can't I can't I can't hear you. I think there is there is can you can call us back? I think there is a error. Uh, we have some having some technical issue now, but I think that will be fixed. The Bluetooth okay. device is really too The Bluetooth device okay. is connected successfully. Sorry, we lost that. I think if I should get it clear, you are asking how do we have a fish meal? Um, actually. Uh, I've been I've been having a lot of calls and um, very soon I'll be introducing to you guys something that you will need to be adding to your feed in uh, for for good growth uh, for good growth. So I'll be introducing that we've been working with a company that produces a concentrate that is used for fish feed production. So one of these days we I will introduce that to you. We are working on that. And uh, it's already on, on ground. Okay. So talking about fish meal, you know what 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 most people call fish meal is not yeah certainly it's fish meal, 
but you go to the market, you buy bone, fish bone, and you call that fish meal, a, a tomato, that is calcium, okay? It doesn't contain the protein that is needed for your fish. Because there's difference between the bone from a fish and the flesh of a fish. The flesh of the fish contains the protein. The bone of the fish does not contain protein, it's calcium. So when you go to the market, to the local market, and you get fish bone from, you source fish bone, and you say you've gotten fish meal, yeah, it's fish meal, but I tell you, it's not the, it's not the crude protein of the fish meal, but it's the calcium, which, okay? All right, the number is on the screen. Please send me your phone number. The number is on the screen, Mr. Edward. Uh, check the title, you're gonna see our number right there. Uh, uh, subsequent time, we're going to be having um, a good, a smooth broadcast, not like this. You know, most of the times I do wait to have uh, actually broadcasting from my house at the moment and uh, where I'm living right now. Um, the compound is not that spacious, the space is not much, but I'll be moving out from, the, uh, from this place, from this apartment soon. To get a better apartment so that if i'm broadcasting there will be no generator noise i actually i know it's somehow disturbing but uh, just bear with me just give me one more month and this is not going to happen again i'm going to move out from this apartment to another to a new apartment in less than one month from today okay so the phone number is on the screen uh, as i was saying we we don't just work in case we we are not limited to nigeria alone we've been working ways on how we can set up farms outside the country as i said we've we've negotiated and we've gone far in terms of design and every other thing for a farm that is to be constructed in zambia which by, by god's grace hopefully that will be done uh so in case you have a you, you you're thinking if we can set up for you outside Niger outside nigeria certainly we fish academy is not limited to nigeria and i as i usually said fish academy fish, fish academy is registered with the corporate affair commission of nigeria first fish as first fish academy we are registered with the corporate affair commission of nigeria and also um so far so good we've been doing our best in terms of uh, service delivery and also uh, for the uh, machines for those of you that have gotten machine from us you know that we have always been delivering anybody that have transacted that have done transaction with us they always they have they have, they have been getting their uh, uh, what they paid for so we thank God for that we did that in uh, we made a lot of sales last year we're going to do more of that this year good evening sir i intend starting a fish farm in at gombe state what do you what do i need to know okay the the message have disappeared but i think i will see it again that will be immediately after now it's a long message that's why the stuff disappeared okay as i was saying um what are the challenges there are so many challenges in various farms I've been visiting farm and in 2019 alone I think I visited over 50 fish farm within Nigeria visited over 50 fish farm their challenges some of their challenges most of the challenge they have is management management has always been the problem okay in case you have a farm here in Nigeria and you are not in Nigeria, you should get people, good people that will manage your farm. Don't get people that just want to suck you dry, people that want to take advantage that because maybe you are outside the country, they take advantage of that. There are technologies now, you can install a camera in your farm and be monitoring your farm from wherever you are. That is where we've got into in today's world. The world is a global village. Wherever you are, you can set up uh, 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 your CCTV cameras in your farm 
you are outside, you are in, you are in UK, and your farm is in Nigeria, you can set up a CCTV camera, and you are watching what is happening in your farm through the cameras. These are things that I've seen in some of the farm, which is advisable. Okay. Yeah. So also we we've also in, uh, we've we've increased our production. For those of you that have been calling us for fingerlings, we've increased our capacity, and this year we are we we're going to do our best to to meet up uh, demand. We do have high demand for fingerlings. We we'll do our best to meet up demand. Um, I'm not going to talk much in this session. It's already 20 minutes, about 21 minutes since I, uh, since I, uh, I come up live here. Actually, I'm not pleased with the noise, the background noise, and um, I really need to. We'll, we'll do this in a better environment okay so i remain your humble friend kufre francis and please call me at any time for those of you that some people complain what do what what does it take to get the noise is not affecting you okay the noise is not affecting okay thank you very much okay okay thank you very much eminike Okay, from the feedback I'm getting, I'm told that the noise is not much. Thank you, which means I can go ahead, but within me here, the noise is like as loud as, but thank, thank God the noise is not that much. You are not getting the noise that much, which means it's, it's, a, it's a permission to go ahead. So I'm, I'm, I'm live with you guys. So let me, still can't see your number. Let me call it for you, Mr. Edward. Plus two three four eight zero six nine zero three five three nine seven. Okay, that is the number. It's on the screen. If you check the title of this of this of this video, you're gonna see the number first before every other write-up. That's where the number is. Okay, Mr. Edward, is the number is on the screen already. So, um. For we, I also discussed with you the last time I, I did a, a live broadcast like this. I told you guys that we are going to have training in uh, various places. And uh, we are working on that. And the timetable will be out soon so that you see, you know, if we are coming close to your location, which I believe we are going to touch almost all the zone in Nigeria. Starting from Akwaibom State. And then the next one, Lagos State, the next one, Abuja, and then Port Harcourt, and then Ghana. That's where we intend to touch first before going to any other place. We also intend to do our training in Kano, in Jos, and in Anambra State. So the timetable will be out so that you know how the date for each for the training that we are going to be organizing. So um, I actually, if you see me, um, what I'm actually saying is not like in an arranged form. I I didn't I actually I didn't come up live to talk. I just wanted to hear from you guys. I wanted to hear. I wanted to listen to the challenges that you are having in your farm. That's those are, that, that's why I that is the title of this video. That is the, the theme for this video. I wanted to hear the challenges. What are the challenges that you are facing in terms of marketing, in terms of feed production, in terms of feeding your fish, in terms of construction, in terms... Okay, Augusta, I had a very bad experience in fish farming. Augusta, can you please share your experience with us? You can call us because if you should chat, if you should drop it here in the comment box, we might not actually get everything. Can you just call us? Call the number now on the screen plus two three four eight zero six nine zero three five three nine seven. So that you can share with us the bad experience you had as a fish farmer, and also let's know if you are still in the business or you are out of business. If you are out of business, we help you go back to business. The number is on the screen, Mrs. Augusta. 
why was one fish gotten eaten up by another? Okay, okay. I I guess is uh, you, what you have in your pond on your farm is catfish. Okay, catfish are, are carnivorous in nature. Okay, they eat up other fish. The bigger ones do end up eating the the smaller ones, and at times the smaller ones even eating eating up the small uh, the bigger fish. I'm I'm saying this out of experience. Okay, and also you do some transfer for example you have 10 fish in a not just 10 you have one fish in one pond and you now introduce another fish into that pond they will be fight for territory they want to they will just like what lizard and what, what like what we were taught in school fish they also try to to map out their territory that when any other goes there they try to fight through, because of the fight, they injure themselves, and once they injure themselves, there's blood, they eat one, we eat one up. That's what do happen. So you, some of you might be wondering, why is it that my fish are always fighting? Yes, they are always fighting because you've been introducing new fish into your pond. Into new, you have always been introducing new fish into the a community of fish. Well, well done, lost over 3,600 fish out of 15,700, okay, you lost 3,600 fish out of top three months ago. Well, you lost your fish, maybe it was because of uh, pollution, uh, maybe maybe why they were finger, maybe let me say pollution. That's what do kill fish most. When your water, is, oh my God, okay. Uh, I have a knock on my door and there's nobody to go check. My God, I have a knock on my door and there's nobody to go check. I'm alone in the house. Can you just spare me two seconds? I guess Nepal is back. I'll be back soon. God, oh, my shame. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I think I, I just needed to know people that are knocking on my door. I'm alone in the house. Sorry, I'm not married. I don't have children. I don't have. But by the special grace of God, I'm hoping to get married this year. And I guess I believe I will see all of you guys there. I'm hoping to get married before the end of December 2020. Okay, so. Oh, I was saying something. Okay, you lost three thousand. You lost three thousand six hundred fish out of um, fifteen thousand fish you had. Um, what we do advise in case you are a new farmer, you are going to the business newly. When you want to stop, always call for juvenile, not fingerlings. It's just so unfortunate. I've been moving around farms, and I I see the type of fish people supply, and uh, you might be so unlucky that you get the fish you cannot grow. Okay. But getting get when, whenever you want to buy fish, do buy fish at least that can pick from two mm or one one point five at least one point five mm of feed. One of the bad experience was I supply. Carry and the state of farming, but they're not growing. Okay, I'm going to come to that, Miss, Mrs. Augusta. You will supply 4,000 fish, and for four months they were not growing. I'm going to I'm going to relate that with what I am saying now. So, oh my God. So, what what I'm trying to say? Oh my God. You are supplied with 3,000, 15,000 fish, 6,000, 3,600 died. When I always get fish that you can grow. I think that's what I was saying. Always endeavor you get fish that you can grow. Forget about maybe this one is cheap. Maybe the fingerlings are cheaper than the juvenile. Always, if you, are, if you know you are not good in it, you are just starting, go for the juvenile. Those one can, the survival rate is higher than 
that of the fingerling. The survival rate of a fish that can pick 1, 1.5 mm of feed, 2, 2 mm of feed, the survival rate is higher than that of a fish that picks 0 0.5. I think that is what people sell for people as fingerlings. Okay? And you get to your farm, you stock it, before you know some of them have escaped through your, the screen that is in your farm. And, um, and, and that's that. Or maybe due to poor management, you lost a good number of it. Another thing that do make farmers to lost fish, I, I'm still talking about new farmers because these are the people that do experience, that do have it very, very bad. These are the people that do have it very, very hot and when they are experiencing mortality in their farm. Most people don't know how to change water in their farm. Most of peop most, some people, their farm, their farm, their fish tank are not well connected. I've, I've visited some farm before where people drain water together with fish. No, 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 it doesn't make sense. You are supplied with fingerlings or you are supplied with juvenile and you want to change your water, you are draining your fish together with water. You, take, uh, you end up stressing the fish and once the fish are stressed, you end up losing some, some of the fish. So and ensure that your tank, your fish tank, your fish pond is well connected with a screen so that whenever you want to discharge your water, just the dirty water will go out without your fish going out with the water. If you, take, if you do this, it is going to help you a lot. Okay, someone said it was supplied, okay, with 4,000 fish, and for four months, the fish did not grow. Yes, it's, it's not, it's, should I say, I don't know, but um, I think, number one, is either I blame the person that supplied you with the fish, or I blame you, so I'm going to, I'm, it's, 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 it's a two-way sort this time around, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to narrate I'm going to, after the discussion now, you're going to see if the fault is from you or if your default is from the person that supplied the fish to you. Okay? If you should, getting a fish at four months, I mean, sorry, if you should buy juvenile, a good juvenile for four months, if you should buy juvenile for, if you should buy juvenile, in the next four months, you should be having fish, if you should feed them very well, good condition, good water condition, good everything. In four months time, you should be having your fish, some of them uh, 800, 900 grams, depending on what you feed your fish with. And some of these, you should even be having up to one kg. It's not a crime for you to see your fish one kg in four months. It happens, okay? What do happen is that, let me, let me, let me, let me start from the supplier part now. Why your fish do not there are so many things that do happen in the farm, especially for people that are into fingerlings production. Did you lose the fish through maternity or cannibalism? Okay, okay, someone is asking, did you lose the fish through mortality or cannibalism? That is why I said that we need to share because I wouldn't have even asked you that question. Okay, but Mr. Kazim, I've asked you now, did you lose the fish through cannibalism or through mortality the when what by by cannibalism is that did you end up counting did you see the dead fish or you counted and some of the fish were missing that is by cannibalism okay okay as i, I was saying something some of the people that do produce fingerlings they do make a lot of mistakes and some of them are the people that are causing huge loss to farmers I did loss the fish is true mortality, not all. Okay, 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 okay. These are the people. Some of the, these people are the people that are causing some problem, both cannibalism and mortality. Okay, Mrs. Florence lost the fish to both cannibalism and mortality. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So most fish, most fish breeders, they missed what they, the problem they do cause. To the fish farmers is so so uh, uh, alarming as i said all they are interested is that they want to sell their fingerlings they want to sell their fish they don't care who is buying it in fish academy 
we care about who is buying our fingerlings because it matters a lot to us. I, we care about who is buying our fingerlings and it's not all the fingerlings we sell. Yes, there are some of the fingerlings we feed to our fish and these are the fish that we know they won't grow, okay? We end up feeding it up to our fish. What do happen is that those people, after breeding, I will be I will be sending my manager. I will, I will, I will be sending my manager and work for him training in April. Okay, 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 okay. No problem, no problem. So what do what do happen is that? Oh, the center, forgot it. Okay, what happen is that those people, after breeding, someone goes to their farm and said, please, I need fingerlings, and within that, within that, uh, that's sets that they breed they have both fingerlings and fried or let me say they have the post fingerlings and the fi and the fingerlings so because they need quick money they go there they pick up they pick please sorry about this question okay i'll answer that so they pick up the the post fingerlings they pick it up they remove all the post fingerlings and sell it out Another week, another person will go, please give me post fingerlings. I need post fingerlings. They will see go to that to that nursery pond, pick post fingerlings, sell it out. Another week again, someone will go there, they repeat the same thing. You might be so unlucky that maybe you are the fifth person that is demanding fish from them. And you go there after some weeks later. They now sell the fish that they have sorted so many times. They sell it for you, and at times you see, at times you say, "Oh wow, the fish they are big," but how old are those fish that they are giving to you? A good juvenile should be a fish of just seven weeks and eight weeks. Good juvenile, juvenile fish that will grow. A post fingerling should be a fish of seven weeks, six, seven weeks. These are the fish that when you put in your pond, they will grow well, okay? There are people that, they are fish, before it gets to juvenile, uh, before it gets to post fingerlings, it has already gotten to, to 10 weeks, 10 to 12 weeks, and you are buying that fish as post fingerlings. Certainly, this fish, they will not grow. They will not grow the, the same, a fish, they will not grow the same way. They will not. Okay, these are some of the these are some of the things. Maybe your, why your fish don't grow in your farm. I maybe during our training we explain that better. And then you lost your fish to both cannibalism and mortality. I've I've I've, I've told you I've I've discussed reason why people lost their fish through mortality. It's either the fish were stressed. You change the water. The, you discharge the water. You discharge water together with your fish. So, and you now, you now put a sieve where the, in the discharge point and the force of the water will be hitting your fingerlings or your juvenile or your fries. Certainly, with that stress, you will lose some of the fish. Or, you keep your water, nobody to change it for you, you are walking and maybe for two days you were, you, you were not there to change the water, three days you were not there to change the water. What will happen is that before you, because the water is bad, some of the fish will die. Some people they force feed their, their fish. You don't you don't you don't forcefully feed fish. Okay, they are not children that you can just push food into their mouth. No. If you notice that your fish are not eating, don't bother. Don't throw the feed into the water and expect them to pick later. No, don't don't be that caring, okay? Don't be that sympathetic of throwing food into the water for your fish to eat later certainly you end up polluting the water you go back maybe at times some of even the, the food you call floating feed you go back you, you pour it into the water and the thing floats and after some time you you notice that some of the food the floating feed are not there again and you think that the fish they have eaten the food they did not eat that food at all they did not eat it the food has gone down. It has gone down to pollute your water. Okay? So don't 
when you notice that your fish are not eating, what you need to do, there are so many videos on this channel, you can, um, you, you need to treat your fish using anything. Bitter leaf, that is what I advise. You can use bitter leaf to treat your fish. Okay? You wash it, you squeeze the water. We've done that and it works. Okay? You can also use your moringa. When producing your fish feed, you can add things like this to eat in order for your fish to be healthy. Okay? And um, I'm still going to use this medium to discuss another thing. I'm sorry that I'm taking your time, but that is uh, what causes water pollution. What catfish farming? Okay, catfish farming. Okay, I think I didn't get that question. I didn't get that question. The lines are still open in case you want to call. You don't just want to chat. In case, in case you want to you want to call, the lines are still open. You can put a call through. Okay, so. Some people do ask me, is it good to feed fish with poultry droppings? Some people do ask, is it good to feed fish with poultry droppings? That is foul dumb. I think you guys are waiting for that answer. Question that people call to ask, and that is what people are, that is what most people are doing in their farm. In Fish Academy, we condemn it in totality. No matter what, you don't fit. You don't fit. Okay, we have a call now. I believe the call is for us. We're gonna pick that. We're going to come back to feeding of fish with poultry droppings immediately after this call. Hello. 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 Good, good evening. Yeah, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Yes, sir. I saw, I've been following you on YouTube. I, am, I don't know if I'm talking to an uh, academic, yeah, uh, Fish Academy. Yeah, you're on live with Kufre Francis of Fish Academy? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Can Hello? You? Yeah, go ahead. Can I hear you? Hello. Go ahead. We can hear you. No, I saw, I saw um, one pelletizer machine that's an um, pelletizer machine on YouTube. Okay, okay. Are are you watching yes, us? Are, are you watching us live now on YouTube, or you just call to inquire? I, I can hear you very much. Are you are you watching us live on YouTube now? Yes, I'm watching it live on YouTube. So I don't know if we can like we actually need this very urgent. Maybe tomorrow. Sir. Where are you calling from? So, and we are we are Tibetan. So we don't know if there's any way we can get it tomorrow. You say you need the, the manual plate machine. How many yes, how, many, how many fish do you have in your farm? Sir? How many fish do you have in your farm? Yeah, I have like up to like one thousand fish. One thousand fish. I yeah, would advise you get a bigger machine because you okay bigger one yeah get a bigger one that manual machine it will it will stress you a lot using it to feed one thousand fish that is what that is what I, I usually advise my customers it's not all about selling okay. but I have to let you guys I, know the truth okay 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 actually the bigger machine will be like it just I'm actually taking it to a very far place from the body so. I don't want something that will just get that like that will be too heavy. All right, I think we'll talk nearly after now. I'll try and call. Okay, a, how much is the antelope machine and how much is the big one? How much is the antelope machine? We'll talk nearly after now. After nearly after the session, call me. Then oh, I'll talk. Huh? Nearly after this session, then we'll discuss the price. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't understand that. Immediately after this session, call me. I will discuss that. Okay, immediately after this okay, conversation. Yeah.
I said immediately after the call that um, I said that immediately after the call that uh, we will discuss about some farmers feeding their fish. Okay, we have another call here. Okay. Hello. Hello, Kufre. Hi, um, Fish Academy. Thank you so much for all you do. I'm a subscriber and I'm watching you online right now. All right. Your name and where you are calling from? Yes, I'm calling from the U.S. I live in New Jersey, in the United States of America, but my fish farm is in Benin City. Okay. All right. So one of the reasons why I'm calling, I actually just left a message, uh, and I was saying that... Um, I stopped um, almost 16,000 fishes and I lost about 3,600 after I sorted them. But then that's not the problem now. The problem is this. I have two more months to go because I stopped on October 7th. Okay. I have two more months to go to be able to sell. But right now my fishes are weighing 500 grams. Half, the average size is 500 grams and the other uh, size is 250 grams. What do I do to get them to weigh uh, one kilogram in two months? Okay. I, I saw your um, I saw your fish feed. Um, I watched your um, the production of the blood meal, how you use blood meal and all that. So I sent the video to my workers and I told them to get the materials so that they can get the blood meal feed to fasten them up and help them. The the the, the, the so but I'm calling to find out what else I can do because I can is against me and I need to make sure that my fishes are up to or over a kilo, one kilogram so I could sell and make money. When, when did you say you stock your fish? You said October? I'm sorry? When did you stock the fish? Did you say October last year? Yes, October 7th was when they brought the post finger into the farm. Okay, so, so now they are three months old. Okay, they are three months old now and you are having them at 500 grams average? Yes, so it's yes, when the sorting was done, yeah. half of them, half of them was uh, 500 grams, and the other half was about 250 grams. Okay. Um, what 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 we do? Those ones that are 500 uh, is a normal normal growth, normal growth. Okay. Yeah, a normal okay. growth. Yeah. Normal normal growth. Yes. Um, do you have a pellet a pellet machine? Yes, I do have a uh, pelletizing machine. I bought it, and I also bought the machine that goes with it, uh, like a, a run, like a, what do you call it, uh, some kind of machine that helps. So it's not manual. It's okay. not a manual one that, okay. you know, runs itself. Yeah. All right. What what will happen is that the, they should keep feeding. It's a normal growth anyway. You don't expect all of them to grow at the same rate. You're not going to have all okay. of them at 500 grams. But even having some of them at 500 grams, you should be having some at 600 and 6.5, 600 grams. That is how it's going to be. Just take the average and then, it's a normal growth. 500 grams, three months, mm -hmm. it's normal. Okay. Yeah. Well, my question is, for Colin, is the, the feed, uh, the blood meal uh, feed that you shared a while ago, you have um, um, feed, um, blood meal, uh, feed that you uh, shared a while ago. Okay. My question is, if I use that, if I use that at least once a day, what do you think? Do you think it would help? Is it just? I'm the, hoping it would it, help. Is it just the blood meal you give to them, or you mix it with other things? No, I haven't started. No, I have not started. I just watched your video. Okay. They are, on they are, they are, on they are. crude on crude protein. You okay. you put the video up yeah. on crude protein. How to meal gari, palm oil and eggs no, so no. i want to do that now i told my worker to go get it and follow your recipe no, and use no, it to no. feed them we, that, those, those were our formula one that was our formula one formula two we have a lot of formulas now for fish feed and um, okay yeah so this time around you're not going to be using uh, uh this thing so what you need to yes. use, you use you use soya beans. I will you can you can forgo the the blood meal because of the uh, the high ammonia content. One one is being fed to the fish, 
So you can, you can forget about the blood. It pollutes water a lot, okay? You can go for soya beans and uh, you, you do mix at times where you put to superlar super starter. There are so many things you mix and also some fish premix you need to get. You need to add to it and some and some vitamins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not not just that okay. formula one. There are so many things you add to produce your feed for, for your fish to grow very well. Um. As I said, as I said earlier, uh, I'm negotiating with a company that produces a, a, some concentrate for fish feed, and um, I think very soon, before in two weeks time, available, and maybe you get it in Benin. Okay, that'd be great. Yeah. So I have my pond is huge. I have a lot of ethane ponds, so I look forward to doing business with you. All right, no problem. All right. All right. Thank you for all you do. All bye right. bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Um, all right. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. That was a call from New Jersey. All right. And um, she has a farm in Benin, based in US. Uh, I wish you good luck. I wish you success. As I said, ensure you know what is happening in your farm. Not just. Uh, I I know she's really monitoring. Yeah. Yeah. You can get CCTV in your farm, as I said earlier. Don't just set up a farm and then you forget about it. And then you'll be believing on some phone calls. Though you can get trusted people, yeah. But if you know you, your farm is not that okay. Get some good cameras, some CCTV cameras. Install them in your farm and watch what is happening in your farm from wherever you are. That is what we advise. Okay, we were saying something before the call. People call me and ask, "Is it good?" to feed fish with poultry droppings. And I said in Fish Academy, we condemn that in totality. You don't build, you don't, you don't do fish spawn, and then you build poultry up, and then you allow the, the bears, your, your poultry, your, your chicken, your bears to be dropping uh, fish, let me call it that way, for your fish to eat. We condemn that in totality, it's not good. It's not good for your health, it's not good for the fish, okay? Feed your fish with what you need to feed them with. Forget about that. That alternative is too cheap for you to go ahead with. Which means feeding your fish with poultry droppings, you can even feed your fish with anything that we cannot even imagine. So if you're a fish farmer, you want to go buy fish, or maybe you, you, you do consume fish, you want to go, you go to someone's farm and someone is feeding fish with poultry droppings, please neglect such farm. Don't buy fish from such farm, okay? Um, I think... Uh, someone they were there was a message i just scrolled off the phone when i saw um we are not saying that you cannot produce your fingerlings you can produce your fingerlings you can produce your fingerlings and then sort to stock okay you can do that it's not compulsory that you must buy but production of fingerlings as i only say it requires a lot of uh, technicalities so many people have tried and they couldn't but um when you want to do your archery, it starts from construction. It's not just all about having a small thing, maybe a small bow, and you say you want to be ashing in there. It might not actually succeed. But there are certain things you need to put in place for you to be successful in fish breeding. Okay? And these are some of the things that we put in place in some of the farm we construct. Don't forget, we are also into construction. Uh, let me talk about the... Let me talk about the farm in Anambra, the 100,000 capacity fish farm we constructed in Anambra. That farm, we are stocking it this week. Okay, we're stocking it this week. As I said, my that farm would have been stocked first week of January, but my car actually is giving me problem. Okay, my car has been in a mechanic workshop since on the 27th of December till date. As I speak, my car is still in a mechanic workshop. And I said, I need a new car. Okay, I need a new car. All right, so I can use it to serve you guys better. So anyhow, I need a new car. Anybody that wants to support Fish Academy with a car, I will accept it and I will write it there. Donated by so, so, so person to Fish Academy and it will be moving on the road. There is no problem, there is no crime there. Okay, but my car is bad. Actually, as I said, we'll get another one. So, um, the, the farm in Anambra, we are stocking it, whether the, we fix the car this week, whether the car is fixed this week or not. 
that farm have to be stopped this week. We've met our delivery. Some, some said feeding fingerlings would cost up to five million. No. So we've done our delivery. We've delivered an extruder to the farm already. And that was on, that was two days ago. We delivered uh, uh, the extruder to that farm. Because as I usually say, I do advise people, I do advise farmers to produce and feed their fish, especially when the fish started start picking up 4 mm feet or 3 mm feet, you can start producing to feed your fish and your fish will still do well. Have you ever asked yourself, that I was discussing with someone uh, the other day in, uh, in Anambra State, in Oka, in Anambra, I asked, why is it that these feed companies, they don't advertise their product the same way Maggie will advertise their product, every other company will advertise their product, but you will never see in a television that one company comes to advertise the fish feed in a, in a this scene. I was asking myself, is it that, is it that, do, do, is it that this people think that farmers or fish farmers are not, uh, 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 don't have access to internet, so they don't advertise fish feed, they don't do this, they don't do that. And most of them, they want to cut corners, okay? I, through this thing, through Fish Academy, and I don't give them the way for them to cut corners. If they want to do that, they have to do the right thing, okay? All right. So, um, we condemn that. Don't feed your fish with, uh, with poultry droppings. Also, don't drill a borehole and discharge what I, I know. Most of, most of these things, when I say, people go, go, go to do it, even when I'm, I'm saying it is wrong. So I, I think I should even keep quiet because some people go back to do, to, to do those things I say it is wrong. You are right. I learned from this academy. My farm is in Port Harcourt, in Equerre. All right. Thank you very much. You have been following us on Fish Academy. Uh, yeah. Most of the times people call me. Uh, uh, in case you are watching me now, uh, maybe you've invited me to your farm before and I, I didn't come. There are people in Port Harcourt that do call me, please come to my farm. And I said, I don't just visit a farm. I charge, for me to come to your farm, I charge you. Except you are very, very lucky I come to your farm unannounced. Or maybe you just see me in your farm. There are some farms I do go to without any pay. But there are some farm, if you invite me to come to your farm, certainly I will charge you. Because I will need to use that money to come and subscribe my phone again and talk to everybody. Okay, I will need to use that money to fix the car and every other thing. So this is, these are some of the reasons why I, I, I charge. Or maybe you invite me over to come and to come to your place outside Port Harcourt. I will charge you hotel and every other accommodation. Should I put this call? Let me pick this call. I don't know if you call it for us or against us. Okay. Hello. Hi, Professor. Happy Sunday. Yeah, same to you. How are you? And your call. Um, sorry, I'm I'm live on YouTube. I thought maybe you were watching us live. That's why you called. Um. How are you? Live on YouTube. We are live on YouTube now. We'll talk to you later. Okay. I'm. I'm I'm live on YouTube. I'm live on YouTube. We'll talk later. Okay. Uh so, I think I, I was saying something. I wish to. Okay. Okay. I was saying something. Forgotten what I was saying. That call interrupted. Okay. So keep your messages coming. We we'll reply to your messages. And also, please. Do well to if you when you see a particular question you are watching me now you see a question if you can give answers to that question you can also do that okay we have some experienced people that do watch this channel across the globe in their uh, Texas different places we have some good people in this business that do watch this channel and if you are one of it you see any question that you can attempt to please do well to attend to those questions okay oh my god so i would like to know how much the dimension of a concrete pond and how to train okay okay someone is asking that he would like to know 
the dimension of a concrete pond and how to drain the water. Um, a, a, a pond can be of any dimension. It depends on the quantity of fish you want to stock and the size of fish you want to grow. Okay? It depends that it, the pond, a pond can be a 10 by 10 feet. Okay? It can be it can be a, it can be a nursery pond can be six by four feet okay it depends on the size of fish you want to grow and your money i do i do tell people there is no amount there is no amount that is too big to invest in fish farming any money you have you can invest it i tell you you can you will certainly get it back okay i was saying something about the farm that we have in a, that we constructed in anambra the farm we are stocking it this week be whether my car is good or not, we're gonna stock that this week. The machine, the extruder machine, has arrived the farm already to be installed soon. And um, our work, some of our workers have also arrived site from Fish Academy. We've sent a worker there that is going to be with the workers that my client is going to employ. He's going to be with them there for some months. So we don't just build. After building your farm, as I said, we, we, we undergo construction. We construct from A to Z, from site clearing to finishing. The 100,000 capacity farm you saw in Anambra there, constructed by us, A to Z. The Enugu fish farm, the, the 30,000 ultra modern fish farm in Enugu is completed. Okay? The, the grow up pond, the nursery, the ash, everything there is complete. So, what we are doing now is um we are doing the underground filter tank that is what we are actually doing now in enugu state okay and uh, we'll be having challenges we'll be having landslide landslide in enugu that's why that filter tank is delaying we dig we have landslide things the, the sand we collapse inside we go ahead we remove it the, the slide we collapse into it again so is 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 it has really delayed our job there but we we are going to finish that before the end of this month and i only to really thank my workers who who stood by me during the holiday to continue the construction contact fish again they are honest and very helpful and experienced as a oh my god my god somebody's made me to blush man okay <laughs> there's no problem Someone said that they should always contact Fish Academy that they make how much how much land requires for a hundred thousand capacity. You need all you need is you need like just five plot of land. Just five plot. Five plot of land is okay for the farmhouse, for the for the for the production session, for the grow up pond, for the nursery, and your parking space. Five plot is okay for it. Okay? And um the construction is not much. You can keep just uh, even if we have something about the mo the money is much, but I think some people can care for that. Okay, there is profit in fish farming is very very lucrative, and uh, farmers as I usually tell people, farmers in the next five years, farmers are going to be some of, uh, are going to be the richest in, in in the world, not just in Nigeria. Someone is asking me how much to construct. A hundred thousand capacity fish farm. So let me tell you, I'm always, let me tell you the amount in dollars so that it, it will be it will be so exorbitant. You've been talking about close to about nine, eight, eighty to about 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 ninety thousand dollars, eighty five to ninety thousand dollars to 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 do that modern setup that we did there. Okay. All right. Okay, which you can afford. Okay, put for uh, the, uh, everything there, you know. So, the farm in Enugu is, we are, we are going to show you, once I return to Enugu, I will show you what the level of job down there. And the project that we are also going to kickstart in some places, by the grace of God, from February this year. So, if you already have... Okay, if you already have sand fence and a borehole, that's what I'm saying. Is a big. Is, if you are looking at a more a, a modern farm, looking at an ultra modern farm, the type we constructed, okay, Mrs. Precious, if you're looking like that modern farm we constructed, then you should be keeping 
like that amount, okay? What, what we used there was about over, over 2,000 bags of cement. You know what it means? So that is money alone. Over 2,000 bags of cement, okay? What, that's what we use down there. It's a very big farm. You know, we, we, don't, just, we don't just construct a pond. Pond, I usually tell people, pond is not like constructing a house. Constructing a fish tank is not like constructing a, a, a living house. Because you are talking about pressure of water, okay? How much capacity can I start with? One million naira. Land is available and ready. How much? Okay. One, one million. One million naira. One million. One million naira. Oh my God. Okay. So land is available. Every other thing in borrow is available. One million naira. One million naira times one million. If you are buying fish food, eh? If you are buying fish food, one million naira cannot feed. If you are buying fish feed from the market. One million naira cannot feed three thousand fish. Cannot feed four thousand fish. Okay, so not to talk about the construction. Then one million naira should be looking with the construction because ah, before you know the money is finished. But you can start little. You know, you can start little. You can start little with your money. Or if you want to invest, as I said, we also work. We are working on our white paper for people that intend to invest in Fish Academy so that your money can grow very fast, okay? You want to come and invest in Fish Academy, your money can grow faster, okay? Than, I'm not trying to discourage you, but one million naira, if you are using that to start a fish farm, it's gonna be very, it's just gonna be for very, very few fish. Because if you should bring about, if you should bring uh, 200,000 naira or 250,000 for construction, okay? We use about how much to do this before you know what is meaning for you there is just uh, 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 maybe 500,000 naira and you can't feed some you can't feed good number of fish maybe you'll be looking about maybe just 500 fish to grow 500 fish okay sorry how many plot okay I said five plot five plots of land five plots so I'm happy uh i i said the other day someone surprised me the other time uh uh with a so, someone surprised me the other time with with a data and they said fish academy take this data and i mentioned our name the other time in uh, the last time i made a live video here i appreciate such things but don't bother okay but anything you do pay your tithes uh, let me know. Let me know. Put it that way. Uh, so I really want to understand something. Okay, Evans, Fred, how can one invest in Fish Academy? Please explain. Augusta, yes, we we are working on that, and certainly it's going to work out before the the end of the uh, the end of March. We're going to come out with the white paper on how someone can invest in fish farming and in fish academy okay we're looking at because we want to go into massive production and uh, where you put in your money you'll be having you'll be having interest per the number of fish we sell from our farm okay so we'll discuss that Let, let's not you can you can reach me up better on uh, on, uh, on whatsapp this is my whatsapp number okay we will explain how that is going to work. We want to go into massive production of fingerlings from our farm. We've, uh, we've gotten a place in Akwaibom, as we said, which is going to be Fish Academy main site in Akwaibom State. We are doing massive production of fingerlings and every other and every other fish. So anybody that invests in Fish Academy is going to be having his interest based on the number of fish we intend to be selling out every month. We will explain that better. We are we are still working on that. Let me not say something so that we okay. So maybe you have five hundred thousand naira. You don't have a land. You have one million naira. Just like how people do buy shares in bank. That is what we want to do. You go to a like for example, you go to bank. You buy share. You are a shareholder in a particular company. 
You can also be a show, shareholder in Fish Academy. That is what we want to do. That is what we are working on. We are working on that day and night. And we are going to, once that is ready, we are going to uh, let you know how you can uh, get a, uh, uh, invest in Fish Academy. Because some people have money, like someone just said, one million naira. One million naira might not really grow as fast as investing one million naira in Fish Academy. Okay, so you may you might decide to, to invest that one million naira with us, and then you get your money uh, back to start up your own big farm as you wish. Okay, so okay, sorry, can you? Someone is asking me, is it in square meter? Yes, um, you in square meter. Okay, someone. Is fish academy? Is, okay, it, is, okay, it's talking about that. Okay, someone is talking about. Someone talked about how can fish be sold? How uh, stock market? If we are in the stock market, <laughs> we will get there. Okay, we will certainly get there. We will get there. Okay, um, and. Uh, if you have your fish to sell, as I said, it's not usually a problem. Just grow your fish to the size that you know you can sell in your locality, in your area. Like in the eastern part of the region, eastern part of Nigeria here, I think from, from information I've been getting, there is a demand for, for bigger fish like 1.5 kg, 2 kg fish. But if you are growing that, you don't need to grow that in large. Let the quantity not be that much, okay? It should meet up the demand. Then for the 500 grams, the, the demand is higher. It's higher, okay? And when you are growing your fish, also endeavor you grow your fish to meet up the demand in the market. Not grow, not don't grow your fish to the size you love because you are not the one that will be, that will, that, that will be eating it. You are not the one to buy your fish, okay? Grow the fish to market size. Is the market size in your area 500 grams? Is the market size in your area 1 kg, 2 kg, 3 kg? Grow your fish to market size and then you sell it off. All right. Uh, wow, it's been one hour 12 minutes since I I came up, I came live here with you guys. And um, I don't know, did, did any of us started, did, did anybody here started with me when I started this video? Let me see. I, but I think Evans, Evans has been here. Some people have been coming, going, coming, going, but advance, and others have been here watching this channel from the beginning, from the very first second, till one hour, 13 minutes now. Advance, dance, bro, all right? So, we, yes, advance, advance is still here. Okay, all right. So, uh, we're gonna be doing our best to bring updates. We're gonna be doing our best to bring updates as regards fish farming okay and if you if you observe you know there are some certain things you've observed okay at least at least right you are welcome it seems to be you are just joining us you are welcome live to fish academy broadcast from port harcourt south south nigeria okay so if you are just joining us what we're discussing we're trying to uh, here the challenges some of the farmers are having in their farm and as a maybe you are intending to go into fish farming it's also a very good platform for you to sit down and listen to what people are saying so that you know what you're going to do how to construct okay how you want to start what to start the amount to start with so i think so many questions i i i do like i like okay okay i think i need to reply some question now on whatsapp okay okay how do you determine the length of your okay I first please okay okay choosing them for the farm please let me know when you are ready for one thing. okay no problem there is no problem you can chat me up on whatsapp okay we'll let you know once that is once we are ready once the paper is ready for business okay oh my god forgot what i wanted to say um 
Okay, let me reply to some messages on WhatsApp. So I was saying this is a very good platform for you as an intending fish farmer to sit down, listen to what is happening in the fish farm business so that you know how to go about your own fish farm business. Okay, Augusta. Augusta said that she's using a tarpaulin pond. Is it okay, Augusta? Okay, we've in, in our subsequent videos we've talked about we've talked about concrete pond, earth, earth pond, and also the tarpaulin pond. You can also see plastic if you wash to. But uh, fr from from what we've seen, from what we've noticed from our academy, to be honest with you, which I have been saying, fish fish grow faster they grow faster in an a, in a eating pond but the management there management to manage an eating pond at times the management there is is not that easy but it's very very easy to manage fish in a concrete pond eating at pond is a semi natural environment for fish okay so certainly the fish will do well there but when you're talking about eating pond to sort your fish in an eating pond is usually an issue. You stock and you know because you are not sorting the fish in there, some good number of fish are gone already through cannibalism or beating up or eaten up by uh, by some uh, 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 predators. Okay, so things like this. So for concrete pond, you can whenever you you change your water, you see that some of the fish are bigger than some. You quickly do your sorting. Things like these are things that are not easy in an eating pond. Okay, so you are talking about uh, tarpaulin. Fish grow faster inside concrete pond than tarpaulin pond. Put me anywhere. It's something we've practicalized from fries and every other thing. Okay, they grow faster in a concrete tank than a plastic tank. Why is, why is this, uh, why is it like that? The fish, the water we have, as I said, I've moved around. I've tested waters almost everywhere I've been going, I do test the water. And so far, so good. The water I've tested everywhere is acidic. Your pothole water, you throw it up, you use your liquid tester, you test it, it's acidic. But the concrete tank, we help to normalize the water pH. Okay? Does not doesn't mean that once the water remains for a very long time, once when your water remains for a very long time in your concrete tank, it turns bad, it turns alkaline, which is not also okay for the fish. But once you pump in your you pump your water from your borehole into the concrete tank, okay, it helps. The concrete tank helps normalize the water pH. It takes it to pH 7. Okay? Taking it to pH 7, the fish is, is, is the water becomes very, very okay for the fish than the water inside the tarpaulin. Okay? Which makes them to grow faster. Okay? So, okay. I think as I said, I need to reply to some messages on WhatsApp now. I, Mr. Fish Academy, been watching a couple of fish farming, fish farming on YouTube video. However, I decided to contact you through WhatsApp as I am interested in the business. Okay, the, the person did not uh, uh, add his name. The name is not here. Okay. So, I just found you here. Okay. Thank you for finding me. All right, so um, I'm so happy that I have you, you all. Uh, whenever I come live like this, I'm happy. People do say, what do you gain from sharing knowledge? If, for those of you that have been on, on Facebook, maybe from Nigeria, they, there was a post. There was a post from Facebook, okay, uh, where someone... Uh, um, people were very very annoyed with that post someone came up with a special of fish I don't know if you guys saw it and they were asking how can I get the fingerless how can I get the person you can't get it I'm not selling it out I want to mono, uh, 
monetize it, something like that. Okay, <laughs> so people were very, very annoyed. So when it comes to, and I called him, I called the man in person. If you have something like this, why can't you share? You share, you share knowledge. Regardless of anything, you share your knowledge. Okay? So in Fish Academy, whatsoever we achieve, whatsoever we, 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 we worked out and we see that it's okay and it will be okay for the farmers, we will certainly share it here. That is why you need to subscribe to this channel Below this video, there is a subscribe button. Yes, Fish Academy is on Facebook. Below this video, but it's on Facebook, but we do most of our things here. We do most of our things here on YouTube. We are on Facebook. We are also on Instagram. But this is the platform that we do most of our things in case you want to go search us out. Okay? So, um, you should... When, whenever we gain any knowledge, whenever we achieve anything, we work out anything from our farm and we see that it's okay for the farmers, we will certainly share it, regardless of the fact whether I'm gaining or losing. If I have you, I have everything. Okay? In less than, in less than like in two years, having about 33,000, or is it 32? 33,000 subscribers in two years in fish farming is something is something that um, is uncommon. Let me pick this call. Let's know if this call is for us or is against us. Hello. Hello. Yes. Good evening. Hello. Yeah, I think I was going to call you earlier about the hand collecting machine. All right. We're still live on YouTube. Yes, sir. Once, once I'm through, we'll call you so that we'll discuss as regards that. Okay, but can we forget it tomorrow? I said I uh, will discuss. We will discuss that. Okay. Sir. Okay. Someone just called. You need the manual, the pilot machine. The person is calling from a bad He said he needs it tomorrow. It's not. We certainly is not possible. We can't get it tomorrow. Okay. You don't just. You don't call in the night and you get it's something. It's not. It doesn't done. It's not done that way. All right, so um, as I was saying, we share knowledge. Having thirty-three thousand subscribers in two years in a fish farming channel like this is not something very is something uncommon. It's not something very very easy. For every other channel, maybe so many people would have clicked, but we have few fish farmers. We have very few fish farmers across the globe. Why are fish is always facing up upward? If your fish are facing up and they refuse to go down, you know there is something bad. There is something wrong. Okay, you should know that the water is bad. If you not, if you notice that your fish are up like this, trying to get oxygen, they are trying to get oxygen. They are gasping for oxygen. That's why they are hanging there. And maybe you hit. I know you are someone that likes it. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Eddie. All right. So your fish might be hanging up there in your pond. They are not playing. No. They, are not, they are not praying. What is happening there is that maybe you hit the, your pond or you shake the water. They are still hanging. You know that they are about to go. What you need to do is you quickly change, quickly change the water. Because that water is bad, there's no oxygen in it, polluted with ammonia or anything. Okay? You change the water immediately. Okay? Someone called me the other day, and uh, I think I think I've, I've discussed that in my previous video. I don't I don't want to bring I don't want to be bringing things that I've discussed before. But you can check. We have over 300 videos on this channel, and we we talk about different things anytime. We are we are live or we are we are on, we are on YouTube. So, we're trying to say, you don't just, if you're a fish farmer or an intending fish farmer, you don't just visit a channel like this and leave. All you need to do is for you to check below the video, this, this, this video, click on the subscribe button. It, it, it might not just be all about you. At the beginning of this program, when I started fish farming or when I started this channel, I, I said it, 
you may not have interest in fish farming, but you have brothers that are always calling you for money. You have sisters that are always calling you. You have your community people that are always disturbing you. You have your church members. You have friends that are always disturbing you. In fact, let's go family. You have family members that are always disturbing you. And every time you send money to them, they finish it, they call you again for money. You send money to them. No investment. I want to let you know that that is not the best way to go. Don't keep giving them fish. Don't keep, keep giving them fish. Show them how to fish. In my, in, uh, I think my, one of my video, one of my video, I there was a song I used as the background tune there. Show me how to fish. Don't give me the fish. Show your people how to make money. Don't just give them money because if you keep giving them money, you will have to keep, you will feed them, you will feed the, your wife, you will feed their children. And whenever you stop doing that, you become their enemy. They will say, so they will say that someone has cast a spell on you. That's what they will say. So don't just keep giving them money. Invest. Set up something for them. Maybe you don't, you or you might even be in Nigeria and your people are there in the village they are, they do, they, when they wake up in the morning what they do they go out they have, they do, they have no business they, they are not doing anything because set up a fish farm for them see if their life is not going to change set up a fish farm for your brother see if his life is not going to change set up a fish farm for your sister for your father for your mother and see if their lifestyle in the village or in their lifestyle is not going to change tell them this is the money i'm investing in fish farming please i don't want you to call me for money again i've done this for you guys use this for the for the for the for the betterment of you or your, your you and your family members and then you ask off and then you see how they are going to do show them how to manage how, how they can how they can handle a business okay things like these are things you can do in the village you know there are some there are some business you cannot set up in the village okay but fish farming i want I, I was telling my friend the other time the money you get from a plot of land planting cassava eh? planting cassava you have it times 10 you will use it fish farming the money you have from a plot of land planting what else there is to plant? I think most villages is cassava they plant. So let me use, still use cassava. You have it times 10 in using it for fish farming. And in a place like that, you will not be able to go and build a house and rent it out. Because if you build a house in a village, rent it out, the, the value, it will not be much. Because maybe one, the road is not tired. Two, there is no electricity in your village. So, the best thing to do there is for you to go there. That, that land behind your house, yes, that land that is behind your house, just use it for fish farm. And, and co just come back and thank me later. I don't need, people don't like paying tight to Fish Academy. Come back and thank me later, okay? That land that people have been disturbing, they want to sell, don't sell that land. Go and use it and start up fish farming. Or you can sell one and use the money to start up a fish farm. Okay, Edward, I bought 1,500 fingerlings 20, in the 20th of December last month. Only, I think I need to go and search that. The, the message have disappeared, sorry. Let me, let me go uh, this thing to see if I'm going to see that. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, 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 okay. I've seen the message, okay. Okay, it's, I bought 1,500 fingerlings, 20th of December, last month. Only one mortality recorded so far. Although, I'm expecting at least 1,000 to survive. 
by the end of six months, how much money is expected in feeding? That message was sent in by Banksy. Banksy, Banksy, Edward. Okay? In fact, that is what I used to say. You don't buy. When you, when you, if you have, if you, if you want to, if you, if you have intention of growing two thousand fish in your farm, buy up to two thousand five hundred, buy up to three thousand. Okay, then you select the best among the number of fish. You select the best. If you want to grow two thousand fish in your farm, you buy up to two thousand five hundred. Select the best two thousand from it, and then grow away with others. Feed it to the to the fish. Okay, that is when you are going to have, that is, that is when you are not going to regret. But when you stock 1,000 fish and you want, at the end of the day, you see that 70% uh, of it, or 70% of, of it are beyond expectation. You, 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 you begin to, you may not actually be satisfied. Okay? But when you, you, you stock extra to select the best, Certainly, you will not regret. Okay, how much? Okay. Are you? Do you think you are going to use to feed one thousand fish? One thousand fish. Certainly, uh, you should be looking up. Uh, if you if you should uh, if you should produce your own feed to feed your fish, uh, just look below. Just look below um, uh, five hundred k. Okay. Just look below that. All right, so, okay, okay. I'm checking the messages now, that's what I'm doing. These are your, these are your messages here. Okay, so, all right, is it? Okay, someone, okay. I've just got another message now. Um, Bright, Badin, Bedu. Is it advisable to plant trees around a fish farm as canopy yes it's advisable if you have a eating pond you can plant trees round but if you have concrete pond and you go and plant trees that will crack your pond please i am not the one that advise you but if it is concrete fish tank if it is eating pond or that tapolin as you said you can plant trees round for canopy for shade the same way you like shade that is the same way fish also like shit. Okay? So, that that's that. Let me check another. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. So, the messages are numerous here. Okay. I am really enjoying your channel. Very inspiring to me. Fortune Chigoze. Alright. Thank you very much, uh, Miss Mrs. Fortune Chigoze. Okay. God bless you for this information. There is no problem. Thank you very much, Bansky Edward. All right. I remain your humble friend. And uh, so sorry. I will always apologize. As I said, I cannot... The number of messages that I receive in a day, to be honest with you guys today, to be honest, I can't reply all. But I used to do my best to reply 90% every day. Okay? But I used to answer calls. If you call me, if you if you try to chat me up on WhatsApp and there's no reply, call me. Okay? Certainly, if you if I don't pick your call the first time, I will pick the second time. Just try to call. Okay? And you know you and also you should know that I'm not gonna be with my phone every time. People call every time. But I'm not angry anyway. I'm not angry. People call me. People wake me up from sleep in the morning. As it does what I do, fish farming. Midnight, people are calling. Some people, you might be here. Maybe you have called me in the midnight before. Midnight before. But people call me midnight. I'm not saying you should call me midnight. But only if is an emergency call emergency only at times i used to be angry with people that call me midnight and whenever i discover that that call is not an emergency call so you can only call me in the midnight if only 
the call is an emergency call. And then, people wake me up in the morning, who expect me to be, but I'll do my best. I'm not complaining anyway. I will always do my best to ensure I serve you to the best of my ability. Okay? Um, whenever you're having any events, also do well to invite me. People don't invite me. There are people that do their child dedication, their birthday, their, their wedding. They don't invite Fish Academy. They don't invite me. You just want to be hearing me here. Do well to invite me to your show. I would like to appear. I want to come, okay? It would be nice to see you in your event. I'm not going to charge you for me to come to your marriage. I'm not going to charge you for me to come to your child dedication. I'm not going to charge you for me to, to, to come and celebrate with you whenever you are celebrating. Call me when you are celebrating so that I come and celebrate with you too, okay? That is, those are, that is a way forward for us, okay? Then when it comes to your farm, that one, when you call me, we'll talk, we'll, we'll talk, we'll negotiate that one. But every other one, invite me. I, I can even, there's one thing, there, there are things I know how to do. At times I say, why, why is it that I, I, I customize my niche just to fish? Okay? I, I've been a very, I'm, I've been a very good uh, uh, public speaker. Okay? While I was in school, I have been one of the student union, I've been in student union government. Right from my secondary school, I was among the, the, the school prefects. Right from my secondary school, getting to higher institution, I, I, do, I do student unionism, I did that. All right, so I've been speaking, I do, I do MC at times, I do so many things. In case you want to know other things that I do, you want to invite me for, for me to come and grace your occasion to handle your events, I can also do that. But let's forget about that. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay, but these are some of the things I also do. Okay, um, there are some messages here. Um, what is the best? What is the best fish feed to give juvenile? The best fish feed to give Joven mm. <laughs> The best fish feed to feed Jovenai is 2 mm and 1.5. Okay. I'm I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna dwell much a little on feeding now. Some people don't know how to feed their fish, and that's why their fish don't grow. I'm gonna talk about that. I'm going to talk why your fish don't grow. People don't know, some people don't know. I want to, I'm going to tell you how to be feeding your fish for your fish to grow well. But before then, I know you are, the person that asked me this question is expecting me to, to mention a particular product. Oh my God, Ken, Kenny, I will invite you in my 55, 55th year's birthday. Please, at where? I will come. At where? I'll come. Kennedy. Kennedy. Say he's going to invite me when he'll be celebrating his 55th birthday. Location, please, so that we plan ahead. When are you coming to London? We need you to come and talk to us in London. Oh my God. If you, if you get every... Okay, Kennedy say in Lagos, there's no problem. You invite me, I'll, I'll come. You need me to come and talk to you guys in London. Certainly, the right thing should be done, and I'm there. Okay, we have a call. Let's see if this call is for us. Wait, All right. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. I'm calling from Okay, calling from Ibadan. Your name? I have been in the last time. All right. Your name. All right. Your name. Uh, Mr. Said. Okay, Sa Adewi from Bali. Okay, Said. All right. Yes, sir. Can you come over to Bali? We invite you to come and construct like uh, this place that will con contain like two thousand fishes. Okay. Um, I'm I'm going to. I I don't supposed to say that. I don't supposed to say this lie. Hello, sir. Yeah, I can hear you. You said if I can come to come. Yes, sir. Let me call you back, sir. All right, okay. Just listen. I got your question. I'm going to reply you. 
Okay, Said, I got your question and I'm going to reply you. Uh, Said says, if I can come to Ibadan to construct a, a farm for him, a 2,000 capacity fish farm. Well, personally, for small scale fish farmers, I don't, I don't joke with them. I don't joke with them at all because for me to come to Ibadan, Mr. Saeed, first of all, I, I'm going to charge you and you may not actually buy the charge, but I can guide you through online. I will, I will not come, to be honest. There are people, it's not, you are, this is not the first call like this. People call me, ah, please, I want to set up a 500 capacity fish farm. Please, can you come? I said no. Because the money you're supposed to give to me, you're supposed, the money you supposed to pay for me to come and do that for you in your farm. I will advise you freely for you to, for you to set it up. Because I wouldn't want to take money from someone that just want, that is trying to grow. No, 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 I, I don't do that. I have conscience. I have conscience, okay? So I will advise you, Mr. Sai. Let's pick this call. Hello? Hello, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. This is Mr. Sai. I'm calling from Iran. All right. I, I, get, I, I, I thought you were watching. I replied I, I replied your question. I gave answer. Uh, it was the network is not okay. Yeah, what, what I'm saying... I just what, want to ask. Yeah. And maybe can you come down to the invite you to come and construct by a place that will contain like 2,000... Mr. Sahid, if yes, I sir. yeah for two thousand capacity fish farm, if I should come 2000. yeah for two thousand capacity fish farm, if I should come before you know your money has gone down, understand? And I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not a greedy consultant. I'm not interested in your money. All I'm interested. I every small farmer should use their small money to grow. Then when they grow big, eh? Uh -huh, I can come to I can come to share part to, to be part of the money. You understand? But for a small farmer like you, I will advise you freely through a free guide. I will give you free guide on WhatsApp on how to go about it. Then you get your 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 local medicine people for them to construct it for you, and they will, and they will do it accordingly, if free without without a charge. I don't I don't take I don't take money from people that are trying to come up. Especially you, someone sir. like you that want to want to set up just two thousand dollars. All right, all right, all right. I will have All right, no problem. All right. So uh, that is a uh, Mr. Said. I that is Mr. Said. I, I I said I'm not interested. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm not I'm not interested in especially. Someone call me. I, I'm a student. I will not. I can't charge you. I can't charge you as a student. I'm a small fish farm. I just graduated. I will not charge you. Because if I should charge you, I'm going to take part of the money that you're supposed to invest. Which, if I should take that money, personally, I will feel I will feel guilty that the money you're supposed to invest have taken part of it. So, for example, Mr. Sahib have just uh, 300,000 to invest in fish farming. And now, going to Ibadan, Mr. Said have to pay my hotel accommodation. You have to pay for every expenses that I'm going to do there in Ibadan. Understand, which a small scale fish farmer, someone that just want to start off very little, may not be able to. Understand, so because of that, I don't always like taking part of their money. Please use your small money to grow little by little until you get there. All right. I have some 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 messages here. Okay. One last question. One last question, please. How do you mean to use some of the fish to feed others? Okay. Do I feed them with the raw fish or dry them and mix it up with homemade fish meal? Any of them? Any any? Even if you want to pieces it and throw it to your fish, there is no problem. If you want to blend it, mix it to the, uh, with the local feed, better. Anyhow, you want to do that, but don't dry. Don't dry and feed. Okay? It's, don't dry. And don't boil. 
don't don't cook it except you notice that the fish had some diseases okay which is not common fish diseases is not common it's only people that causes diseases to their fish your fish will not just stay and get sick it's not common it's not like the poultry that's why in fish farming you can you can you can stock your fish until you sell you will not administer not even a single dose of drugs to your fish but in poultry the difference is the reverse i mean the case okay i have another question here please um mrs florence which of your formulation should i use to make my fishes grow faster uh, what what we usually do is that um, we have formula one that formula one can be for small farmers formula two because those ones are the ones we did without without machine let's keep this going immediately after then we'll continue with the discussion hello hello are you still online yes i'm still online uh, okay i do have a question for you pertaining to some of the things you spoke about right. can i go ahead yeah i can go ahead okay so this is Florence Amore here again from the u.s i've done exactly what you've been advising people to do to set up a fish farm for family members so that they can ask, stop asking for money and i'm closely monitoring how everything is going all right so um i saw what you said about installing cctv cameras on the farm, I want to do that if it's not too expensive because I haven't started selling, I haven't started making money, so I wouldn't want to spend too much on CCTV cameras when it's affordable, I want to do it. Okay. But where I want to go right now is because of the high, huge cost of fish feed, I want to be able to produce my own, I've bought the palletizing machine. How can you help me out in that regard? Because we are raising a lot of fish feed, our funds are huge, they are humongous funds. But we have to, we want to be able to uh, make our own quality feed. Everybody says they make fish feed here and there, but we we don't trust in those local feeds. We don't know the formulations. We can't, we don't know the results on the fishes. So we're trying to find somebody who knows what they are doing, someone like you that can help us out. All right. Um, there's, uh, let me start from the first one. Uh, monitoring your listing uh, is just uh, to spend a little money for that. But there's no problem. You say you've taken care of that. Your, your most concern is the fish feed, get that right? Your most concern is the fish feed, right? I'm sorry, it's not very clear. I can't hear what you're saying. Yeah. But okay. right now we're using foreign feed, and we want to formulate. Yeah. We want yeah. to yeah. 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 Feed. You can, you can, you can produce a very rich feed from your farm. So many farmers okay. we've advised them and they are doing that and their fish are doing well. Very, very better. Okay. We have those raw materials. Yeah. Most of what is being sold in the market, most of what is being sold in the market is shafts. There are so many companies now okay. the, 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 the waste, the waste product they do they do throw away before. That's what they are using to produce fish feed here in Nigeria now. Shafts. Yeah. So if you if you can you, if you get those stuff, you can get the materials yourself and produce a very rich feed for your fish. It's happening, people are doing it and they are achieving, they are seeing good, they are achieving good results. So you can also have that in your farm. Since you say you have a pellet machine, there is no problem. Um, how many fish do you have in your farm? The net, net, network is bad. Alright, so I, I can I can I, I can actually visit your farm if you wish me to. Uh, I do go around as I said. We can go there and see how we can uh, uh, put things in order. Alright. Because since there is a machine there, it's just to go there, we we'll do our formulation, or I can train your staff on how to produce and then I go back. We do that. So it's for it's for you okay. it's, it's for us to plan a farm visit. So I visit your farm in Benin City, in Edo. Okay, thank you. So I'll probably give your call back again after the show in a couple of hours, and then we can make arrangements. All right, no problem. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. All right.
for now, because, because I know you're very busy, which of your formulations can we use? We have Formula 1, you know, for, I think, up to 5. Yeah. Uh, we, as, as, as I said, as I said, we practicalize it when we get to your farm. Okay? All right. Sounds great. Thank you. All right. All right. So that was a call from New Jersey. Um, oh my God. I was saying something. Okay. So, is it? Yes. I think someone was asking the feed that should be used to feed juvenile and I said someone is the person is expecting expecting me to to mention a product a product that is to be used and I, I don't do that and I'm not gonna do that okay uh, I don't do I don't want to uh, do uh, this thing uh, what I don't supposed to do okay there's time for everything if for, if for me to mention any fit com, any product from any company, and then I think I'm going against some certain things, and even myself. Okay. The as I said, most of the fit companies they have refused to do adverts, and I will I will help them. This is how I will do it. I'm, I I have plans for them. Okay, I'll help them. They refuse to do adverts, and they, what they are doing. However, forget about produce your fish, feed your feed, feed your fish, make more money. Okay? Some of the fish feed that are very, very cheap in the market is just shafts. Nothing is in there. Your fish can't grow. I mean, come on. Okay? Ah, this is what is happening here. Okay? Outside there in your own country, it might be okay. But down here, because the high because of high demand, so they they reduce it quality of uh, what they're supposed to use in producing the feed sell it to farmers very very uh, expensive and then the farmers end up using it to feed the fish and in some of in some cases no gain because of high cost of feed you feed your fish with your locally made feed you reduce the cost of feeding by 50 percent you increase your profit margin 50 percent that is what we advise. No, it's not changed yet. So, um, my God. So I'm not going to mention any fit, any of this thing for you. Anyone you are using. But however, the starter fit is is always very very important. Ensure you get the starter fit for your fish, for them to do well. Then you switch later. All right. Wow. It's been about two hours, and I still have some people in her life. Without you, there will be no fish academy. Without fish farmers, there will be no fish academy. But I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm always very, very happy, regardless of the fact that I have to do this. But I'm, I'm always very, very happy that within, in, in two years, over close to 3 million people has viewed all my videos on this channel that is okay let me now say 2 million people two mi over close to 3 million views on this channel I'm happy that I'm able to reach out to the world contributing my quota as a citizen of the world to the world so I'm happy I still believe that everybody I'm, I'm, there's something I'm going to address in the after now. I still believe, I pray I don't forget. There's something I believe that everybody are meant to come and do a particular thing. And I believe I'm sent to do the fish thing here. And I will do it to the best of my ability. I will reach out to you guys to the best of my ability. That is what I promise that I'm going to do. And I will do it. Okay, so if you like this video, if you like this session, if you like this, what we've just done today, don't just go away without uh, click without you clicking on the thumb up uh, thumbs up button. And then, if you don't like what you've heard today, don't be don't don't be shy. You give me thumbs down if you don't like what we've heard, what you've heard today. But if you like what we've been doing for about two hours now, I've been on live 
for about one hour for 54 minutes yeah one hour 55 minutes now if you like what you are doing check below the video you see a thumbs up button just click on it and then it shows i'm doing something good all right oh my god i said there's something i'm going to address and i'm going to do that for people that set up businesses for their family members for people that set up businesses okay thank you very much fortune chigozie for people that set up businesses for their family if you want to do business please ensure you get trusted hands Trust, trusted hands yeah thank you very much Evans. ensure thank you very much Bansky Edward ensure you, you, you have trusted people in your farm trusted people in your farm don't just do business and then you give it to people that cannot manage your farm it's not compulsory that your it is not compulsory that your brother your sister your dad your mom or your cousin or your friend it is not compulsory that these are the, because they are the closest to you it is not compulsory that they must be the manager of your farm someone can be close at the same time not honest someone cannot may not be close to you and very very honest and sure you get honest people they are still honest people in nigeria and beyond get honest people that can manage your business you you've forgotten how to okay let me go back to that message oh you forgot okay you forgotten how to throw okay fish feed oh so oh thank you very much for reminding me i forgot thank you okay how to feed how to feed the fish most people don't know how to feed fish and they that's how they continue to feed and the fish they don't grow okay where can i find vendor for fingerlings catfish and drink okay i just ask you all right all right i'll get back to your message all right so most people don't know how to feed their fish All right, I was reading a message. Okay, okay, all right. So, most people don't know how to feed their fish. It's not all about going to the market, buying feed, and then feeding. No, you should know when to change. Out, you should know when to change your feed, your, your size of feed, to another one. You should know when to feed with 5 mm with, with you should know when to feed with 0 0.5 you should know when not to feed with 0 0.5 you should know when to feed with 1 mm and when not to feed with 1 mm you should know when to feed with 2 mm and when not to feed with 2 mm this thing matters a lot to the growth of fish and this is another secret it matters a lot and these are some of the things that also causes pollution and also causes more expenses in the farm in trying to feed your fish. Your fish is supposed to be eating 9 mm. You are still feeding the fish with 4 mm. You are going to spend more. You spend. Your fish is supposed to be eating 2, 6 mm. You are still feeding that fish with 3 mm. You spend more. Not that, and your fish will not grow as they're supposed to grow. Let me let me let me explain better. For example, once you get you buy your 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 fingerlings today, let me those fingerlings. Let me, let me say post fingerlings, and they are eating 1.5. Certainly, all of them they are not going to grow in the same space. Oh my God! Oh, no, they, they are not going to. I I someone just. Okay, certainly all of them they are not going to grow the same way, in the same size. Some are going to be bigger than some. Some certainly are going to be bigger than some. So what do happen in that case? When you want to grow your fish, because they are not the same size, 
you have your post finger legs or let me say you have some mixture of some fish you go there you feed what's happening some people are retrieving their messages why i just got two messages retrieved don't know why okay um so for example you have your post finger links when you want to go feed your post finger links go there with two sizes of feet go there with with 1.8 and with 1.5 when you go there with your 1.8 and 1.5 how are you going to feed them what in what state are you are you, in what in what state okay okay i didn't get your question well but i guess you're asking where i'm based i'm based in river state port Harcourt. Uh, but I go everywhere, I, I move around. All right, so you go there with your, you go there with your 1.5 and your 1.8 feet. On getting there, feed them with that 1.8 first. After feeding them with 1.8, when you notice that they are no longer picking that 1.8, then you introduce your 1.5. At this time, the fish that can pick 1.8 have picked 1.8. Those ones that cannot pick 1.8, we have to wait till when you start feeding 1.5. So you feed like that. And as they grow, you change. You go there with 1.8 and 2 mm. You feed some with 2 mm. You feed some. After feeding them with 2 mm, you go ahead to introduce your 1.8. Okay, bright bidding. Thank you. And may the blessing from above let you to your aspiration in life. Stay blessed. Thank you very much, bright bedding. Bedu, I guess you are going. Thank you for staying live with us. It's been two hours since I came live here. Uh, it's not easy. Okay. All right. So it's not it's not easy. It's not easy staying live for two hours, more than two hours. So you feed them like that. And when you want to feed your fish, don't just go there. I said it earlier. Not because don't just go there because you are rushing. You want to go to work, or let me not say work because that is where you are working. You want to rush out. You just go there and you throw food. Boom. You don't do it that way. You feed, you wait. You feed, you wait. And you feed, you wait. You don't just throw food on them. Because there will be a time you throw food and they don't eat. At the end of the day, those food sinks. It goes down, dissolved, and pollutes your water. Okay, it goes down, dissolve, pollutes your water. And because you've changed water in the morning, you used to change water every every four every four days. And you say, ah, it's not up to four days yet, so I can't change water today. Before you know, in three days, your fish have been infected by diseases, been infected due to uh, water pollution, and you begin to run around. Before you know, you've lost some good number of fish. Prevention is better than cure. Don't say you were not told. Ensure you do what is to be done in your farm. Okay? So, that's that. Ah, uh, well, I've been talking for a very long time. I... I don't know. I, I think I will, I will try to ensure we, we talk live like this every Sunday I will try to do my best so that we talk we discuss live every Sunday like this that's what I will do uh, so always keep always know that we'll be talking like this every Sunday uh, we've talked at length okay how many days is it advisable to change water in a in a build up pond 
Okay, that is like in a concrete pond. How many days is it advisable to change water? There's no, there's no deal. You can change your water every day. Once you notice that your water is dirty, stinky, polluted, let me use polluted. Once you notice that the water is polluted, change it. It can be that same day. The, something might just happen and the water get polluted and your fish, something is, has, is happening to them already. You change it. You must not say, ah, it's not to four or five days yet. Whenever your water is polluted, change it. Also, the same time, because that's question used to come with how many how many times should I sort my fish in a week or in a month? Whenever you notice that there are bigger fish among the smaller fish, you sort. Even if immediately after sorting, you notice that you do what you sort it again. Okay, so sorting has no time. There is no there is no intervals for sorting. Sorting whenever you see. Okay, you say you normally change water after every two days. If it's L, if it is an L, if it, if if it's area where you can even you can even do it, two days is not bad. But whenever you notice that the water is dirty, you change it. You have a call. Let's see if this call is from one of the viewers. All right. Hello. Hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Am I speaking to Francis? Yeah, this is Kufre Francis of Fish Academy. Oh, okay. Uh, my name is Mark Anthony, calling you from Port Harcourt. All right, am I speaking with you? Um. Hello? You take plain motor. Hello? The radio motor. Hello. Out input motor. Yeah, the Bluetooth it. device is ready to tell. Um, the Bluetooth device is connected successfully. There's a difference between fingerless and juvenile. So can I get? Do you, I don't know if you have. I I have intention of buying um, next week. You say you want to know the difference between fingerless and juvenile? No, I want to know the difference in price. If you have. The price between uh, juvenile, the price for fingerling. Okay. Uh, that that one has. Are you watching us live on YouTube or you just called? What? Are you live on YouTube? Are you watching us live on YouTube now? Okay. No, but I know I have seen a lot of your videos. All right. All right. Uh, we are live now, and I will reply you immediately after the live session. Thank you very much. Oh. Okay. All, all right. right. All right. All right. Okay. That was a that was a business call. That it has nothing to do with what we are doing here. All right. So, um, let me see. Get some of messages. Okay. We bless you and thank you for helping small farmers. You are a good teacher and passionate in what you do. Bye. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Who does the David? Who does the David? He's gone. I mean, he's been with us from the beginning of this video, of this live broadcast. Um, I I will do my best. I'll do my very best. When the water gets polluted, can I use vinegar to check? Eh? What did I, let me, did I? Vinegar to change. I don't understand. I didn't. I, I don't understand that message. Check my book. Okay, Chukwenri. Good day, sir. I wish. I wish to farm at the smallest scale possible. I want to know if one can do it in a low capital. Oh man. Okay, Henry is asking if he can do fish farming with a very low capital. The low capital depends. Okay, when is a low capital to some people? One million naira is very low. To some people, ten million naira is a low capital. To some people, hundred million naira is a low capital. So when you are talking about low capital, I might not understand the low capital you are talking about because I don't know you. Because uh, if if someone like Dangote now, when you say hundred million is a low capital to to Dangote, 
So I don't know if you are Dangote talking to me. So your low capital, like, what's the price or the, the okay? What's, what what price? What what uh, was the, uh, the the amount to as low capital, sir, Mister Chuku Chuku Henry? All right, I think we'll get that from you before we we end the session. Okay, what is the low capital? But however, to to go straight, fish farming. To be honest, to is capital intensive. I don't like say okay backyard farm backyard farm uh, at least everything is there now to go and backyard farm the setup is not it wouldn't be that expensive if you maybe you might add it some people add their farm to a fence but i don't always advise that just do a separate uh, construction entirely it can be close to the fence okay but a low capital low capital depends on the amount you can start uh, a farm can be a backyard farm. All right. Okay. Okay. Concrete pond and tapolin pond. Which one is better? A tapolin pond is mobile. You can move it in case you're in a rented uh, space. You can move it from one space to another. But if it's not rented, if it's not a rented space, then you can. If it's not a rented space, uh, we always advise concrete because. The amount you use in buying a, a, a tapolin is almost equivalent to to work to constructing a concrete pond. Then some other person is asking, can I start a fish farming with as little as two hundred or three hundred thousand? Mm, uh, two hundred, three hundred thousand. I have few fish now, few, very few. Yeah, can start. Can start few fish. Just buy one of this. Uh, because uh, this one you can't even do construction now. You will just buy one of these uh, plastic tank, just this plastic tank. Uh, buy one of the plastic tank uh, or, or two. Two of it will go for like uh, at some places they sell it fifteen thousand naira. So you say you buy two for for thirty thousand naira. Then you buy fish. Uh, let's say you buy. Uh, I will just start with fifty fish now. So you can feed it, you can feed the fish, or 50 or 30 fish. That two tank is enable you so that you can sort, you can move bigger fish to one and smaller fish to one. That is why I said two tank. And then you can start the two. But if you could, yeah, it's possible. So the question is okay. The question is the, the question is instead of changing water when it is polluted, what can we do? Is there something else to use for the water to stay stable? Is there something else to use for water to stay stable? Mm. Actually, if you want your fish to grow well, you have to do regular changing of water. And that, that, that brings me to the recycling system, the RAS. Uh, people have been calling me about RAS. Say I want to do RAS, want to do RAS. Uh, uh, it's not all places you you set up RAS. It's not all places you say you want to recirculate. Uh, it's not all places you say you want to recirculate uh, a pond. You want to recirculate your water to the pond. Recirculation should be area where you can hardly get water, but places where you can get water, uh, borehole water, to borehole water to for your farm directly easily needless of recirculating as such whenever the water is dirty if you want your fish to grow well if you want your fish to be without disease if you want your fish to do well to be smart always change your water there's nothing you can do there's nothing you can do to keep the water stable there are pe some cases people say you should use a blower a retor to arrest the the water i tell you clean water remains clean water whether you use your blower and your water is dirty 
is polluted. Let's forget about the word dirty. Water can be dirty at the same time clean. That the water is dirty does not mean it's clean. I mean that the water is dirty does not mean it's polluted. The water may change color. You know, if it changes color, it can, it can say it's dirty. But whenever it's polluted, please change it. Don't allow your water to stay too long in a concrete tank. It will turn alkaline water. Don't allow your, your water to stay too long. You allow your water to stay two weeks without changing. Go and taste the water again. See how the water is. Turn alkaline, which is not also good for the fish. Okay? So, I don't know. I don't know. But I, as I said, I will do my best to be live with you guys. As I've been having some challenges, as I said, my car got broke down and uh, it's been really stressful. I did not enjoy my first, the way I was supposed to enjoy it, 1st January. My car got broke down on the 27th of December 2019. On the 27th that evening, I did not go out. On the 28th, a very big issue. 29th, as I speak, my car is still in the mechanic workshop. Okay, uh, I, I know I have some good people. Yeah, your prayers pray for me. I need a new car. Honestly, I need it. I need a new car so I can do what I'm supposed to do effectively. But if I will try to fix that one up. But I believe I have a lot of things. There's a need for a car because I don't just sit down. I move around, I go places. Do you have a program, St. Fish Academy? Yes, we do have programs. We do have programs. You can visit our farm for training, but the accommodation is going to be on you. You can visit our farm in Portacourt if you want to come for training, but uh, the accommodation, you are going to be the one to take care of your accommodation. Okay? Because we our permanent site which is going to be in a quiet bomb we are going to have hostels we are going to have hostels in our permanent site so that anybody that is coming for training can actually stay there but i know it's not everybody that can even stay in the farm so i'm sorry because i know it's not me there are some people that do invite me say please come to my farm i have a farm house a farm house in your farm I can't, I, I, no matter what, I don't stay in a farmhouse. If you invite, in, in, in case you have intention of inviting me to your farm, I can only come to your farm and return back to my hotel room. You don't expect me to sleep in your farmhouse. It's, nev it's not possible and it will, never be, it, it, will, it will never do that. Any of my boy can be there or anybody my worker my staff can be there in a farmhouse don't invite me and tell me that i'll i'll stay in your farmhouse there are some calls like that that people invite me and they say i will come and stay in their farmhouse i see that as uh, i see that as something someone is supposed to say okay if i charge you most of the reason why i charge you I charge you and I include my hotel accommodation. I include my my air ticket to and fro. Okay, if it's my car I want to use, it doesn't matter. Some people do invite me and they say, ah, Fish Academy, please come to my farm. I'll give you, I'll give you the tea fare that you use in coming to my, that you will use. I tell you, please, I'm not interested in the tea fare. If you are consulting, do normal consultation. I'm interested in the tea fair. If you don't want to do that, just stay tuned to my channel. Your problem can be solved through my channel. You don't even need to invite me. But if you still need me, how much will it cost my manager to attend your training in Port Harcourt? Accommodation not included. Okay, if you are coming to my... Oh, should I discuss that here? Uh, just chat me up immediately after now, Mr. Edward. 
just chat me immediately after now on my WhatsApp or you call me immediately after this session. We we'll discuss that. If someone is coming to my farm, we pay for the training. But if you person should wait to when we'll be having our our normal training, that one is usually cheaper, and we are looking at even making it free this year if we have some good sponsors. And also, remember in my last video, I said that we need sponsors for the training that we are going to do nationwide and across Nigeria. We need, we, we need support, we need sponsors. In case you want to sup, sup, uh, sponsor the event, you can do it, you can do it, there's nothing too small. We need sponsors so that we can make this thing free. We want to, I want to make it free, especially for the small scale farmers. That's why I want to make this thing free. In fact, I don't know how I'm going to categorize it so that it will be free for the small scale farmers, people that are just coming up, especially students, our fresh graduates, that are people that are graduating every day in Nigeria. I want to see how I can make this training free for all of them because I know they don't have money. And it's only through sponsorship that this can be made possible. Every day you go out, you see the number of students, you go to NYC camp, you see the number of people that, they have been, that, that are in NYC camp, you see the number of people doing NYC, they come out, there is no job for them. The way forward is with fish academy and it's fish farming. Okay? We want to see how we can create this awareness. I don't care if Nigeria or Africa or anywhere becomes the largest producer of fish. I don't care. All I care about is that everybody should be should should depend on themselves, should be financially sufficient to themselves, should should be self-employed, should get something doing, should create jobs through fish farming to other people. I've created jobs for people. I've created jobs. I have workers working for me. I've created jobs. So I want to see a generation of youth that will be creating jobs for people, not generation of youth that will be waiting, looking for jobs. Got it. Hello. 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 Francis. Yeah, good evening. Francis, good Fish Academy. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Yeah. I've been calling you, I don't want to pick my colleague. What is the problem now? I called you back yesterday. I, uh? I called you back yesterday, didn't pick, and this morning you, you called. I called you back yesterday. You didn't pick your call. If you, if you, if you can check, I called you back yesterday. No, I was calling. I didn't see you. I didn't see you on this call. Though. I called you. I'll call you. You lady that told you that her name is from Chief Shomuna. You said I should tell you. I should my name. That you will take the number. Hello. Yes. You said I should remind you now on one day. This is why I'm calling you. I will remind you of where I should call you back again. Then this coming week on next day. So I will call you to remind you now because I know what you say. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Well, I think we'll discuss, we'll discuss, we'll discuss that. Sorry about that. Was busy throughout yesterday. Daddy? Alright. Easy but is the portfolio available? You say what? I mean the portfolio is available. No, no, no. We don't have post finger lens now. We don't have post What about the finger lens? Did you want to stay available? Man, let's let's discuss immediately after now. We don't we, we, we our fish has been fully booked somehow anyway, but I'll call you immediately after now. We are having a live session now on YouTube. Sorry about that. Alright. Bye. No, no. Yeah, I think the person needs uh, needs some fingerling, some and some juvenile. 
and it has been fully booked. What I do tell people, when you need fish, you book on time. You don't, you book on time. Can, can you supply juvenile to Lagos? Yeah, the quantity, yeah, the quantity will determine if I can supply, if I will bring it to Lagos. Personally, I don't like to send fish for uh, maybe maybe that distance of 11, 10, 11 hours to a very far distance. So the quantity determines if I drive down with my car to Lagos. So that's that. So the, the last caller, uh, I think uh, he needed fish. It's only people that book down. That is people we, we keep fish for most of the times. Those are the people that get our fish. We have to book ahead. We have high demand for fingerlings. Although we have we are we have set up, we are producing to meet up demand. So that at any time someone can just call and pick it up. But for now, you cannot just call and pick up immediately. Alright, so I was saying something. Looking up to a generation where the youth will be employer of labor. The quantity will also determine if I can supply to Abuja. Looking up to looking up to a generation where youth will be higher uh, will be employer of labor, not sitting at home doing what they don't supposed to do, committing crime everywhere. That is not the generation I'm looking at. I want to help the youth through support. Most of these youth they don't have money, and through sponsorship. I'm going to reach out to them. I'm going to contribute my own quota financially and otherwise to train the people I need to train. And I will see you in your area. I will train people in your area. I don't care if I'm making money from what I'm doing through telling you things. But I know with God, all things are possible. You know, when it's time, the fruit will eat. That's what I believe. I'm not interested in anything. I'm interested reaching out to thousands of people. I'm interested. I'm, I'm happy that I have over 33,000 subscribers. If it were to be a church or a mosque, it would have been a very big one. Or imagine having a live show, having 30,000 people or 33,000 people. And then I'll be a very big God, I mean, a very big this, this thing. Just that the difference is that in the other way, they do this. This other way, we don't do this. Most people can't, uh, because uh, we've done our best to ensure that we do our best online. And as I speak today, Fish Academy has come to stay in Nigeria and beyond. What we protect most is the name Fish Academy. And I tell you, we will never joke with Fish Academy. Fish Academy will we, we, we stand for a long time and it will be transferred to another generation what we have started today so you guys are my pioneer viewers 30,000 today in, two, in two, two years I believe it will, it will grow faster being that we are creating more awareness in fish farming than ever before and we are doing tutu detailing and I'm, we are we're going to bring more. We're going to bring, it's not just going to be catfish. It's not just going to be catfish. We are going to have other fish here that you can sell. We are not just going to be growing catfish alone. We are now looking at ponkashos, ponkashos fish. We are working on that. Every, there are going to be different fish that you can grow and sell and make your money. So, thank you. 
do you have a training academy at Onisha? Yes. Um, actually, we have a facility in Onisha. We have a facility in Onisha. The 100,000 capacity fish farm we constructed, my client has given me a free hand for me to use that place as one of my training facility. So any day, any time, um, we are going to organize a training in Anambra State. That center, that facility, that edifice, that 100,000 ultra modern fish farm that, that we constructed will be our training. Uh, that is what we use as our facility for the training. Keep in touch. We we'll announce when we'll be coming to Anambra. That that was from Abraham Buzak. All right. I just feel like staying live with you guys, but I think I need to go. Sorry, I talk too much. So many people complain that I talk too much, but uh, I believe every teacher talks. Uh, I am your teacher. Allow me to talk. I will keep talking. If I don't talk, you won't get the information. Okay? If I make any sense, if I am not making sense, if what I'm saying you see is not making sense, take the sense from some of the things I have said and leave those ones that are nonsense. Just leave those ones for me. Then take those senses. There are so many things that I've discussed. 100% of all that I've said for over two hours 30 minutes now all of them 100 percent might not be sense but we might have 90 percent sense and 10 percent nonsense take the 90 percent sense and leave the 10 percent nonsense for me okay we'll continue to bring senses okay what about in lagos is there any training academy yes we are going to we're having a training in fact immediately after acquired bomb states Immediately after the training that we are going to hold in Aquaibon State, the next point is going to be Lagos State. It's supposed to be April, but we shifted it to May because we are still working on getting sponsors. Immediately after Lagos is going to be in Abuja. Immediately after Aquaibon is Lagos. Immediately after Lagos is Abuja. Immediately after Abuja, Port Harcourt again. Immediately after Port Harcourt, we are looking at Ghana. I'm going to Ghana. I'm going to train people in Ghana. Okay? Ga Ga Ghanaians as one of my main fans. They have, they have been following me on this channel like, like, like their brother. We are Africans. I know I'm still your brother. So, Ghanaians are not going to be left out this year. I'm going to reach there. I'm going to train them live in Ghana. Okay? So we have Ghana after Port Harcourt. Okay, you are well. Someone, someone has, someone has already replied from Ghana already. Yeah, bonjour, merci beaucoup. Someone already, <laughs> alright. Someone already replied in Ghana. I have so many fans in Ghana, and Ghana, I'm coming. You see me. The date will be announced, and um, we're going to have. We are looking for. We're looking forward to having um. Fish Academy ambassadors across all over the country, people that will represent us, people that we can always, and those people must, people that they, they, they have to, they need to have a farm, their farm, we are working on so many things, but we have ambassadors, and our ambassadors across, they have to own a farm, they need to have a farm, and we also need to have representatives in Nigeria. I've, I've, I'm working on that already. We've gotten a representative in Kano. I wrote from Germany. Okay, 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 from Germany, but my family is in Ghana. All right, no problem. We'll meet your family when we go there. I believe you take good care of me when I come. Okay? Yeah, so... So that's that. You guys should just take good care of your fish. No matter what you are facing in the farm, don't give up. Never give up. Know that one day you certainly succeed. Fish farmers are succeeding and there are a lot of people in it and they are telling positive stories. So many people through this channel, 
started their farm, even without inviting me over, they are succeeding. I used to receive their calls. I used to receive a lot of thank you calls, even in the midnight, I used to receive it. Go ahead, invest some money in fish farming. Don't be scared. It is lucrative. It is profitable. But it's something that when you start, you need to ensure you always monitor your business. Don't just leave it and then either you contract it out like what we are doing now. If you know you're having challenges in your farm, if you have a farm and you're having challenges, your farm has never made profit before, just call us. Hand over that farm to us. Let's manage it for you in six months. Then we'll hand it over to you. It's part of our, uh, what we are going to be doing this year. I repeat it. I repeat it. I, I'm repeating it myself. If you have a farm and your farm is not making profit and you are thinking of closing it down, call us. Hand over that farm to us. In six months or one year, hand over that farm to us. Let's manage that farm for you and then hand it over to you again so that we show you that it works, that it's management. Okay? So those are some of the things we're going to be doing. And um, happy? I think I got to go. Let me see. Do I have any other message here? Yeah? Oh my god, I have a call. I'm going to start streaming, but how do I have to be in Nigeria to assure business? Okay, I'll reply. I got a message now and I'm going to reply that immediately after this call. Hello, I want to call you again. I want to call you about that call. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, good evening. Yeah. You hey, where did come? Let him assume. Okay, sorry. Are you are you watching us? Are you watching us live on YouTube now? Sorry, we lost that call. We lost that call. So, so as as we were saying, we will do everything to we'll satisfy you. I'm sorry that I'm taking your time. I think I need to go. Au revoir, my friends. Au revoir, my viewers. Thank you very much. It's your humble friend, Kufre Francis. For those of you that have been trying to know where I'm from, I'm a Nigerian. I'm a Nigerian. Bye, Pasky Edward. Bye, Abraham Busta. Okay. Sorry, one question. There was a question I needed to reply before I leave. Okay, someone chat. Ali, Ali A. Ali A says, I live abroad, but I want to start fish farming in Nigeria. How regular do I have to be in Nigeria to ensure that the business grows? Yeah. Okay, you can do your business from anywhere. Okay, as I said, with us, with us, you can stay abroad and your business is growing down here in Nigeria. You want to take over farm management? We are training a lot of people and we are going to train more. The training that we are organizing. The training that we are going to that we are organizing, we have already picked more picked some people. We are going to train people, and we are going to employ them. They are going to work for us. We want to send we want these people to manage various farms. Okay, so we are we are getting more more hands because we are taking over managements of farms. So you may have a fish farm in Nigeria here. Yes, miss, that's what I'm doing now, Mr. Ali. So you may have a fish farm in Nigeria here. 
you don't need to be coming to Nigeria when a global village as I said if you can install a CCTV camera and be watching what is happening from your farm there is no problem you become your self managers through your CCTV we can also help manage your farm either as an internal manager or external manager by internal manager if you give the farm to us to manage we manage your farm and we give you we, 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 we do what we are supposed to do we manage your farm and you get your returns you want us as a standard manager we can be visiting your farm anytime maybe once maybe four times in a month we visit your farm to see what is happening there to take records of what is happening to ask questions and to give you feedbacks from your farm we can also manage your farm in that capacity in other words with us you're already in nigeria with us we are with you over there so you don't need to be coming okay i think i don't know if i don't know if i've if i've answered your question mr ali please how many fish can i rear from in a 1000 liter tank think okay to parents talk and a 1000 liter tank 1000 liter tank is not big however the size of fish you want to go will determine the number of fish that you are going to have inside the inside the tank okay so you want to go to parents talk to push talk and then i think for a fish of 3 kg they be looking at having just 10 to 15 inside a 1000 liter tank it might be surprising to you the size of a fish determines the quantity of the fish in a tank that's that that's that to that question okay we we'll, we'll announce that we we'll announce that we we'll announce that Oh my god i'm so happy to be with you guys this sunday i think i have to end here we may not we may not say everything today if you have any other issue if you have been if you if chat if you have been chatting me on whatsapp without any reply please always endeavor whenever i'm live like this show your question to me one thing in fish academy is that we are not owing anybody. We have done a lot of business with a lot of customers, with a lot of clients. We are not owing anybody. Okay? If we are owing, we cannot even come like this. If we are owing, as people are calling. In fact, I can't even open my phone line for people to call if I'm owing. So, we are not owing anybody. We are not owing anybody if you do business with us trust us trust that whatsoever business you are doing with us that you will certainly get what you either you pay for either goods or services that is what i said the name fish academy matters a lot to us and if anybody should call you tell you that this fish academy please take note of this number this number that you are that you do call zero plus six zero three nine plus zero is zero plus eight zero six nine zero three five three nine seven any number that calls you any other person that calls you not using this number is not from us anybody that calls you not using our main line that is on the screen there is not from us there are cases where people i said it the other time where people people organize training in the name of fish academy and you go there you don't see me please any training we organize you have to see me people organize training i'm aware of a training that they did in abuja and they said it was me sorry it wasn't me whenever you hear of any training 
and they say it's Fish Academy. Please do well to call our line to confirm if actually we are the one hosting that training or not, so that you will not fall into a wrong hand. Okay, it is very, very important, very, very vital information I'm giving to you guys so that you won't be scam. Okay, get back to us, and if you have any issue, reach us. That is the only thing we can say. Stay blessed, remain good, remain courageous, remain. Thank you for choosing to feed our great nation. They don't want me to go. Let's answer this call. If the call is for us, it's against us. Hello? Hello? Now we need to lose that call. No, another call. Hello? Hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening, sir. Okay, I'm coming, calling from Enugu. Okay. Okay, sir, please, uh, one of your uh, subscribers, uh, in Mugin Show. Okay. Please, how can I get a finger name, as in finger name, catfish, or chicken now, anyone? When, when do you need it? Are you watching us live on YouTube now? I don't, I don't get what you said. Are you watching us live on YouTube now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's an update now, but I've not seen, I've not watched this one. The, the last one you posted now. Okay. So the number. Okay, okay, I don't, I don't okay, the number. okay, okay. You are asking how you can get fingerlings or juvenile in Enugu. It's very, very easy. Yes. It's very, very easy. We have a project in Enugu that is ongoing. So whenever you need fingerlings, book ahead, we will get you fingerlings whenever we are coming to a new group. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Bye. We have another call. Oh, we lost that call. All right. That was Kelvin from a new group. So Kelvin, you have, you have, you have no issue. We are with you there in any group. So that's that. Don't feel like, but I'm, I think I'm tired. I need to go rest now. I love all you guys. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for always standing by me. Thank you for making this channel your most preferred channel on YouTube. Please endeavor to share videos from this channel. Always endeavor to share videos. I always endeavor to share videos from this channel to other farmers, to other WhatsApp groups. Facebook so that you can be part of this community project. I need to answer this call. Hello. 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 Good evening. Okay. Who, please? Sorry, we didn't get that. Okay, I'm Amaka from Abuja. Yeah, so Oh my God, you just called. You just called. Yeah, you, you, you just called. Yeah, I just introduced myself. You are very. Okay, okay, you are speaking with uh, Kufre Francis of Fish Academy. Good. That's what I want to hear. Thank you for your time. I look through your videos on online and uh, I'm. Because I have it and yeah, to do fish. Okay. Fish business. Mm -hmm. Because I I thought about it. I said it's better I clear the site very well before we call you so I can come and inspect the place and then tell us to do. But on a second thought, I looked at it, I said uh, there's some trees because uh, it's like a coffee area. There's some trees there. So and I know very well that if the fish needs the tree shed, so I said, okay, let me just need to have time so, so that we uh, can talk. We can tell us which one to move and which one not to move. Never mind about it, because I will take care of it. There's not a cost of coming. Okay. 
ever. No, no problem. That one, that one is standard. <laughs> yeah. All right. So how is everybody? What? I hope I'm making time. What do you say? I said I hope I'm making time. Yeah, you, 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 you're making sense. However, we are we are live now on YouTube. I don't know if you were watching us. I just logged. I just logged that to call you. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. No. No problem. No problem. So how do we do? How do we go about it? The land is at Takure. Okay. As as you said, whenever you invite me over, I I will come. I go everywhere. Okay. So who you be? Next week, or next, uh, let's say my own edges. Don't give me time when you sleep so that I can schedule myself, then we'll plan how to go there. Um, anytime, time, from next, from next week, anytime I'm free. It's all right. Yeah, but, all right. But, Please save my number. This is my number. My name is Yamaka. You can also get me on WhatsApp with this same number. So you can see chat me on WhatsApp. All right, all right. Huh? No yeah, problem. thank you so much for your time. I'm so grateful. All right, all right. Thanks. Then I'll keep you posted based on when we are going to look uh, see the place. All right, no problem. Uh, all, right. all right. Thank you for your time. All right, bye. Uh -huh. Okay, so that was a marker from a college. Abuja, but uh, intend to develop a site in uh, Akure. Okay, someone is saying that he has a question. I've not seen the question. I would have answered before I say good night. But uh, as I said, this is not this is not the last time I'm going to be doing this. So you can always keep your question uh, to any time. You message us on WhatsApp. We have we do have numerous messages on WhatsApp. We do our best to answer. I'm not saying that I will not be answering your messages on WhatsApp. We do our best. But you can see people that have asked questions here, we've answered completely everything through phone calls and everything. So, whenever we do this, just catch us live. If you, if you cannot catch us, WhatsApp, catch us live like this anytime. Uh, we'll do our best to be coming live like this every Sunday, hopefully. 4 p.m. Nigerian time to any time we say goodbye. All right, so love you all. Thank you for those of you that stayed from the beginning of this video. I know some people stayed from the beginning to this very time. I love you guys. This Fish Academy is your humble friend. How do you ensure good fish meal? Okay, Kazim. All right, Kazim, we need to close the session now. Uh, good fish meal, as I said, is not all about getting bone, fish bone, and you call it fish meal. Okay? It's not all about getting fish bone, and you call it fish meal. We are getting a very good fish meal for you guys, and uh, as I said, we've been negotiating. I've negotiated with a company, and um, the, we're going to have the concentrate, which we will introduce once we are done with all the formalities. We introduce to you a very good concentrate of fish meal that you'll be using to produce your fish feed. That will be hopefully uh, within this within this within this month. We we'll introduce to you a very good uh, fish meal concentrate. We are not talking about bone. We are not talking about bone. It's not about bone. It's not fish bone. Fish bone is not proteinous. I say it again. Fish bone is not proteinous. Fish bone is calcium. So when you go to the market and you pack fish bone, fish bone, fish bone, fish bone, you pack and you go and grind and you say you have fish meal. Brother, it's fish meal low, but it's not the proteinous fish meal. With this, I end the session and I say bye. I love you.